I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and today's podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile, and it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Uh, our guest today is a multi-talented comedian and actor who has appeared on BET, VH1, Comedy Central, and feature films such as Soul Plane, Original Gangster, Zoolander, and Johnson Family Vacation. He was also a spokesperson for 7-Up during the popular 7-Up Yours advertising campaign. He was also a cast member on the first season of The It Factor, a reality TV show. He was a regular performer at the Comedy Club, Comedy Cell in New York City. He's also known for doing the voices of Mr. Stubborn and Mr. Tall in the Mr. <laughs> Men Show and hosting right. the Fox yeah. Game Show Bullseye. He hosts and owns a podcast called In Godfrey We Trust on the Gab no. Digital Network. No. He is also right. known for collaborating with other social media stars <laughs> such as King Batch and the Storm Power. Godfrey is here! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I appreciate that runoff. That Sometimes whole, you be like, God damn that it. That whole bio. <laughs> I love people's bios, man. Especially this stuff. I'm like, why do we care about the 7-Up commercial? He went nah, to St. Andrew's grade school. And also, he was on the soccer team in his first time. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> How are you, my brother? I'm good, man. Finally made it to you guys' podcast. Finally. Nah, Shit. man. It's good to have you, you here on the Brain Idiot. Bro, I remember them 7-Up commercials, bro. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that was fun. I ain't going to front. That shit was fun as hell. Yeah, those were huge. Yeah, I didn't even... I remember when I auditioned for that shit. Um, that was when I was on It Factor. That was a Bravo show for Bravo turn. Before, Bravo was, you know, Bravo was a, um, a fine arts film channel at yeah. first. Really? Yeah, yeah. Before the, And then our shit was like the first reality show. It Factor it was me, Jeremy Renner, mm -hmm. um, Lisa Ray, and a bunch of other people. And they just followed us around New York, whatever. And that's when I auditioned for that. And, wow. I, and then I got it on the show, but it wasn't planned at all. Was Tyrese any inspiration to want to be in like soda commercial? Oh, they're singing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck no. I just auditioned. They didn't even tell me what it was. It was like, it's a soda thing, but they're not, they can't tell you what the name is. I was like, wow. all right. And so then yeah. I like went in and then I left. I went to Spain. No, I went to Amsterdam to do comedy. Then mm. went to Spain after that to hang out. Raymond is lot. Raymond is lot. Raymond is lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah What's yeah. that mean? That's Spanish that means Ra noodles? Raymond yeah. is Raymond late. No, no, no. Was, you, did you do Dutch? Did you do No. Amsterdam? So this was kind of before. Right. This was like when I was just starting. But yeah. like, I guess in Amsterdam yeah. or the Netherlands in general, they just fell in love with like stand up comedy. Really? Yes. And they were bringing out all these like pretty much New York and Boston based comics. Yep. And they would just go out there and you guys would perform and it would yeah. be on like the biggest late show in the country. Yeah. By this guy named Ryman. Ryman. Yeah. Jurgen Ryman. And he's from Suriname. Suriname are like the black Dutch people. Wow. Yeah. So he looks, he looks like a black guy, Asiatic. He looks in, he's, he's like everything in his face. Yeah. But he would, he <laughs> he's was everything. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah. He looked like everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like remember black is white. It's black. He's, yeah, white. White. he's in the middle. <laughs> that's just his, that's just he's his right here. Right? His, his own it face didn't turn all the way back yet. It's just <laughs> it's black. It's white. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's his one face is the whole fucking video. Yeah. But yeah, he would he was like the top comedian yeah. of of Holland. Yeah. And we did his show, man, because these guys came in and said, Hey, we'd love you guys to come to Amsterdam and do Dutch television and Tony Woods. That's was right. Tony was, was out the there main like guy. Crazy. Tony Woods. Have was, you seen Tony before? You need to bring him on here. Oh, Tony, Tony is you a got, legend. You bro. gotta bring him here. Tony like, is. When you see Chappelle, you see Tony Woods. Oh, Chappelle is the guy. I mean, Tony's the guy who inspired Chappelle. Inspired Chappelle. Then, yeah. Uh, he was just on. But didn't Tiffany have him on? Tiffany, yeah, he was with me. Me, yeah, 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 on, yeah, on, yeah. on the yeah. day ready yeah. second season, me, ready. Tony yeah, Woods, yeah, yeah. Dean yep. Edwards. But Tony is Tony is so interesting. Like watching him, like yeah. set a tone in a room. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just wild. It's, like you could, yeah. you could literally, and I've seen him perform for like old people <laughs> in the Bahamas, <laughs> yep. and just like kids down in the village. It's amazing. Same act. Yeah. Same tone is <laughs> set. He's telling stories, and you're mm. just sitting there like. Yeah. I could sit here for three hours. <laughs> yeah, listen, just tell me about the different parts of the world. Tell yeah. me about your adventures yeah. there. He's a very internet. He 
he was the first to take me and like Tony Rock overseas. Yeah. And we were like, wow. And you know, we I don't thought, even think Tony lives anywhere, bro. I, yeah, I don't think he, he, I mean, he he's just always he's, traveling. He's, just, he's man. always traveling and always somewhere. And he talks in code. What do you mean? And he's he, in he, and out. He, he'll he, he'll right, be like, this. hey, hey God, for yeah. see, you know, you got to. <laughs> and what? The fuck? Anybody speak Tony Woods? And you just got to listen to Tony. And then English will come up and go, so I got that gig for you, man. But you don't remember when you had. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And he just and then he runs off. Yo, what the fuck? Out. And he goes, yeah. what's up, Shawty? What's up, hey? You see that man? Yeah. 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 What the? F but How you get it. Tony's got to be close, close to sixty, maybe a fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Like, yeah, about, about that. I think yeah, 50. yeah. He's and just he's awesome, just one bro. of the smoothest, like. You know, there's like comedians you're looking at, man, I wish I was that cool. You yeah, know, yeah, there's some yeah, not, yeah. we don't do that a lot to a lot of comedians, yeah. but you go, that's facts. I wish, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. how we are. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't that cool, we, though. We know we cool. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we yeah, see yeah. another mama, yo, damn, I wish I was that cool. Nah, Tony, Tony, Tony that Woods, dude, Greer man. Barnes. Tony Woods and oh, Greer, Greer Barnes. Bro. Greer Barnes, another yeah. underrated who's one of the most talented comedians. Oh, yeah. You see those two, you go, damn, I wish that was. I mean, I'm a cool motherfucker, yeah. bro. I've Andy's seen a cool motherfucker. I've seen Jesus Christ, these sorry. cats. Because I've seen I've seen Greer do bits oof, for years. Yeah, and every time, <laughs> it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Every, it's the same bit, the same bit, but it's the coldest shit. I go, and we all do sitting the shit in the back. I want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, do yeah. no new shit, bro. He got a he got a bit. <laughs> he's underwater. And he's acting out it's, the whole it's, it's thing. It's the scuba underwater. diving thing. The scuba dive, bro. Oh, it, he's doing scuba diving bubbles and shit. And you're like, and you're like this. Wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. How does he do that? <laughs> I'm going scuba diving. I'm going scuba diving with this a gun. This is still more interesting. And he has a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, under, yeah. underwater, yo, he, and he does the Batmobile shit. He's just so good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. when he gets on stage, like, we'll get on stage and go, yo, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker gets on stage and goes, Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to be up there. He just okay, goes, okay. Ray. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you just go, Yo. that's the coolest shit. Because we'll go up there and go, what up? What up? You know. Y'all happy just, to be there. But he goes, yeah, we're excited. Yeah. He's he goes, like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Bro, I, I remember seeing Tony. I think he put it on some some special or something like yeah. that. So I'm not giving away any of his material. I saw him go up one time and he was up there and he's just like, <laughs> Star, he's not even talking. Nope. He's looking around. And he's like, "Y'all start working right when you get to the job." <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, right. He goes, "You guys don't start right away, bro." Just I'm badass. Like, the best opening. The just best, badass. Yeah, this is super rare to see two comics give it up like this. Yeah, that's oh, how special these guys that's are. That's how special. That's how special. You talk about guys. when you see craftsmanship. Yeah, you go fuck sculpture. Yeah. That's yeah. like sculpting type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I remember. One time, and, and Tony does like, he's from the urban circuit. I met him in Chicago. But he'll do but everything though. He'll, like, do, he'll do anything. He, he could yeah. perform anything. But I've seen him in the New York urban, like like early 2000s, late night. It was urban circuit in New York was just Timberlands, Pele, Pele. <laughs> yeah, what is Everybody he was sitting <laughs> like this. He was like, yo, what's up? Yo, you ever see when you fucking a bitch in the ass? Good night. Go, go, get, get, Yo, give it up to my man Cornbread. That's my man Cornbread from Brooklyn. Then the next dude come up. Yo, my man, hot sauce. Yo, you ever see another bitch when you're hitting her in the ass and then some shit come out of booty? Good night. Yo, give it up for my man hot sauce. The next man, give it up for chicken wing. Yo, you ever see a bitch you fucking eyeball? Her eye fall in the toilet? Good night. Goom, goom, goom. Good night. You didn't do no nah. stool fucking. I know who didn't fuck the stool. Oh, yeah. He, I'm fucking the stool, right? So I'm hitting the guy. The guy. The guy. That's I'm funny. flipping the stool. Bam, bam. Yeah. It's not even the girl. This, this is the <laughs> And people, and this is, and cats are like this. Oh, yo. So all you see is Timberlands in the air. And Pele, Pele jackets. And you smell like, you smell like Egyptian oil. And niggas with hats. Everybody look like Rakim. And mother is like, yo. And then after all that, everybody's screaming at the top oh, of their God. fucking lungs. Tony Woods comes out. After oh, 700 man. comics, because there's 700 on the flyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know those, those, those urban remember. shows, it'd be like, 
the collages. Yeah. And it, it's like nine. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then yeah. Tony Woods would be in the back, like, yeah. and Tony Woods. <laughs> He'll get on stage. Everybody after Kool Aid, cornbread, chicken wing, hot sauce. Nobody has their regular names. <laughs> and Tony Woods. After all those names, oh, Wildcat, man. Big Head, fuck no, hell no, all their names. <laughs> Tony fuck Woods. No. And Tony Woods, after all that chaotic shit, I've been to these shows. He'll go, hey, what's up, everybody? Give it up for all the other comedians that just came here. You know, a lot of energy, man. A lot of energy. See, everybody was, ah, ah. He said, me, I'm going to go, who? <sighs> <laughs> murders yeah. destroys the room oh it's just the you, best. i go you talk about mastery yeah that's my big brother man that's our big brother pretty much yeah. that dude is Tony's a fucking master salute, salute to tony andrew said something earlier man yeah. i never even thought about but comedian i didn't know that, that y'all said tones yeah, i just thought, that, oh, I thought the objective was, um, i just want to go out there and make people laugh no like, it's like boxing it's like when i would when, when i first would go to the, I remember going to Pacquiao's gym with Adam Hunter in, yeah. when I was in LA. Wild card. Wild card gym, yeah. right over that, the laundry mat. That's what I loved. It was so yeah. grimy. And so I was going, yeah, you know, uh, uh, fucking Roach. Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach, his yeah. brother Pepper Roach. Yeah, 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 yeah. I go in there, you know, and I was like, I'm going to go in. And the guy goes, hey, and all the box, the dudes that coach, they've been they you they boxed yeah by the way they talk they say, hey you want to do some mitts yeah, like, yeah, yeah. mitts I say yeah man go in there and shit you know James Tony is there James oh, Tony wow. James Tony you, I'm, I'm, there's Pocky I've seen yeah, all these yeah, 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 yeah. you watching these great fighters and I'm thinking yeah I'm gonna do some mitts and shit you yeah. know I go in there my idea of boxing in my head I haven't boxed I didn't martial arts but I haven't box boxed yeah, I think yeah. you box right a little bit yeah. yeah. I'm boxing in my head. What I watched from Ali, you know, yeah. I go in there and he goes, all right, this is what you're going to do. Okay. You gonna, we're going to go boom, boom, right? Jab, jab, boom, right? Jab, jab, boom, right? And then, uh. So I was like, so I started right away doing this. I started bouncing. And I started going, he yeah. goes, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I said, what do you mean? <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, and all the boxers join the tour like, yo, hey, comedian, what the fuck you doing? They're all making fun of me. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I said, but isn't that what you do in the boxing? That's what, that's, I, I hear you guys punching like that. So I was, <laughs> he goes, listen, you, you're not a fucking boxer. <laughs> just, just breathe normal. He's like, just breathe normal. I was like, oh, he goes, <laughs> and the guy goes, hey, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting embarrassed. So I'm like, fuck. So I got my gun. He goes, J all you do, just breathe normal. Bang, bang, bang. So I start bouncing. He goes, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, wait. Like He's like, you're not Ali. Yeah. Ali was a freak of nature. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you're like a heavyweight. All you do, keep your head here. What the fuck is this? Yeah. And I go, oh. <laughs> and then I'm hitting the bat. Bam, bam, bam. He goes, you hit like a bitch. Let's do that over. <laughs> I was like, what? He got all the muscles, man. The motherfucker can't do shit. And they're like this. And so I'm punching. They go, punch with your legs. I'm like, what the fuck do I punch with my legs? <laughs> How do you punch with your legs? You, it's, it's, you're coming your off. Your hips. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. hips. Okay. And remember, I'm coming in watching TV for yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Watching Rocky. So Right. Yeah. Punch with your legs. Yeah, you're like, these guys. And are the guys are like, drop yeah. your goddamn leg. Yeah. And then I go, boom, and they go, hooray, he did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And you hear the dip. And I go, oh, and it's such a real science. That is how people approach, like you were talking about with comedy. Mm -hmm. You were like, I thought people just, it's Going a, swinging. comedy's a real science, bro. Yeah. It ain't no guessing. Yeah, people yeah. think it's a guess. Fuck no. It is yeah. a craft. It's just like boxing. People approach comedy like they will approach boxing. Like, yeah, it's all just arms. It's your legs. It's the yeah. it's the it's the small movements. It's just like in comedy, the no, nuances. And the if you do it attention. right, yeah, then people think that they can do. It. It's like yes, it's like Ali. Like <laughs> Ali was so natural yes. that you see people mimicking Ali, and they'll just start doing that thing where they're like skipping <laughs> around the ring and moving their hands. But it's like. The amount of training he had to do to be oh able to have his God. footwork like that. Yes. So I would never understand natural. that, though. What's that? I would never understand how somebody can be so great at something, so good, so naturally gifted, but inspire everybody else to want to do it. Yeah. 
Bro, well, it I, is. It, it, it's, you it's, bro, it's it. almost wild disrespectful. Yeah. Like, you ever do a show, you're like, bro, that was the most hilarious thing I've yeah. ever seen. I'm going to try that. Oh, oh, like, oh, what? That's bro, not what, what this is for. What do you mean? Or they go like, I love this one when they do this after a show. They go, man, blah, blah, blah. They're talking and yeah. then they say something funny. They go, you can use that. I go, I'm not ever yeah. going to use it. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck I look like. I'm never going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> see that see a- a- Andrew is more Andrew that's why I love Andrew yeah. shows Andrew goes in the audience and oh. smashes on motherfuckers yeah. see he's Andrew is such a great a crowd work him Jay Okerson there's guys that master I'm more of just I just do my material but I'll fuck with him. someone fucks yeah. with me yeah but you he, talk to him but you yeah oh yeah, no yeah, yeah, Andrew yeah, goes yeah. hey you what the fuck he just yeah. he's right away he's that guy on the stoop in an Italian neighborhood <laughs> hey you <laughs> come here you fucking big head where the fuck you get those shoes from <laughs> who <laughs> said you guys could move in here <laughs> that's, really, that's, really, that's, that's really him in real life that's him oh, I yeah. was on the phone with Andrew the other night oh god man. this is fucking a bad it was like 11 o'clock at night we talking <laughs> all, I, all, all I hear is him go the fuck you going to do? <laughs> the fuck you going to do, motherfucker? And then he goes, then he goes, I live here. So you got to see me every fucking day. Are you serious? I'm like, who is he, who is he yelling at? <laughs> a cat? What are you learning? A cat? Was it a cat? No. Was it a dog? This fucking guy who lives across the street from me. <laughs> he, I had my headphones and I'm talking to Charlamagne and I thought he said bitch to me. You thought? Right? So he goes, he, I thought he, I heard bitch, but I'm talking to Charlamagne. I go, what'd you say? And I took the headphones out and he goes, do you have the time? I go, oh yeah, yeah, it's 1130. And I put the headphone back in and I hear bitch. And I go, what the fuck? I take the headphone out. I go, I go, what'd you say? He goes, no, I just want to know the time. I go, lying, I just told you the fucking time. I said it's 11.30. I said, and I start walking away. And I hear a bitch, but I say, Charlotte, don't talk for a second. And all I see is he goes, bitch, bitch, I'm halfway down the block. I got my dog. It's a fucking golden doodle. It's not that tough. Right? So, so, so I see why he called me a bitch, maybe. I'm putting this shit together. I'm like, who you think you can just disrespect me because I got a fucking golden doodle, right? I'm halfway down the block. Bro, I fucking turn around. I get Get out, run straight at this guy. <laughs> Hands open. Oh, that looked like get Bro, out. The get, get out, out sprinter. Exactly. Get out. I did that shit. I ran right at that motherfucker. He went inside. <laughs> Close the door. Close the door. Through the glass. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. What? <laughs> <Talk his shit. laughs> What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I live here. I live so you know what that means? You gonna see me, see me every, every fucking, fucking day. day. Yo, what the fuck? I'm a crazy person. Oh, that's crazy. I told him where I live. You know what I'm saying? This guy can have a gun. This guy can call police on me. But that's us. That's ask your neighbor fun. about me. That's your neighbor. Ask your neighbor about me. You better ask about me. You better ask about me. My boy, my boy lives in this building, so I'm gonna ask, ask him. <laughs> Yo. That's like, shit. what the fuck? Yo, you know what's so funny? It's weird. Yo, you got to set a tone in the we neighborhood, bro. Not yet. You got to set a tone, bro. It's my neighborhood, bro. If I'm walking a doodle on the street, I'm going to be respected. My you doodle, baby. Got the doodle in the hand. Oh, you know, you got, yo, I got the doodle in the hand, baby. Now nah, I mean, doing me. Oh, yo, man. it's just like in Nyack. We were just in Nyack. We did Levity Live. Artie. Artie was with me. And so, man, we, and we're so hungry. We're at McDonald's. We're like, fuck, let's just go to Lamb? McDonald's. What are you saying? Artie who? Artie, um, Fuqua. Oh, Fuqua. Fuqua. I was like, Artie Lane. Was like, no, Artie yeah, 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 yeah. And Akeem Woods. And we're like there just, just this weekend. And we're starving, man. So he's like, this is going to some McDonald's. Fuck that. Boom, we go to McDonald's. Dude's taking our order. Man, I hope. Blah, blah, blah. We're like ordering. And then he just goes, man, y'all taking too long, man. What the fuck, man? Like, <laughs> in the thing. So like, y'all taking too long. We're, like, oh. we're starting. We're like, yo, the guy in the speaker. We're like, yo, you know, Artie is temper. He's like, man, the motherfucker. <laughs> and we're in the line still, so we like, wait till we get to this motherfucker, man. But we have to wait. Yeah. Make sure you get your food first. Yeah, you know, we were, I was like, Artie, don't smash, don't smash. Yeah. And so people are hungry, and Artie's like telling another car, yo, shut the fuck up. Yeah, 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 motherfucker yeah, yeah. skipped us. And you hear his voice on the other side, because he skipped us and went to another customer. Yeah. We're like, this motherfucker, man. And it was like, yo. And we pulled up to him. Dude looked like he just got out of jail. We were like, hey, man. So we, were, <laughs> we, we were about to snap like you said. I was like, nah, nah, we good. You ever see a motherfucker look at you and whoop your ass? Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. yo, my man, what yeah, happened, yeah. Man? You got nothing to lose, bro. Yeah, yeah he's, he's like, y'all was taking too long, son. <laughs> my bad, but you always take me like, Yeah, we were. My, our, our, our. Why is it so long to order at McDonald's, though? 
I don't know. I don't fucking know. It was just, I don't know. Shit, it's Nyack. I don't fucking know. Shit, you know, <laughs> it ain't you. It's like, that's <laughs> that's not me. Because you know what you want yeah, when yeah, you get yeah, there. It's yeah. not like you're like, um, <laughs> the fuck. So what is the tone? What is the tone comedians try I to say? Every, 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 like, yeah. people that yeah. come to see him are people with his same kind of mentality. People that come to Manic see me. Manic energy. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mad but they come, It's like, look at any comedian. Like, you can always ask the wait staff. They go, okay, when this person comes in, I don't take that shift because they're the most rowdy motherfuckers gotcha. because they match the comedian. Like you say, like a Burt Kreischer, that's one of my dudes for a long time. Yeah. Everybody looks like Burt. Yeah. <laughs> they look big, yo, heavy stuff. They love working the Burt shift because when he was doing the clubs, he would do that thing at the end where he would do a, money or something. It was a tip jar where like the people in the crowd would beat the tip. So it's like, if you put yeah. in five, someone put in Is 10, that, yeah. someone put, and then yeah. there'd be all this money. He just give it to the wait staff. Yeah. Wow. So the wait staff would walk out paying their fucking rent for the month. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a great he, dude. And yeah, he's, yeah. they, but people that if he comes, they look like him. Bearded, yeah, happy yeah, guys. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah the yeah. cigar, everybody matches their, like my, my, club, either people, aesthetic or energy. Your like aesthetic or energy. They yeah. kind of, yeah. You kind of bring, so that tone you set, like, or, if you're an MC, you set the tone in a room too. Yeah, mm -hmm. You could fuck the tone up or you could keep it like, all right, let's keep it moving. It's yeah. my man coming up. Or you could ruin the shit. Yo, this next motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now coming you gotta up. dig yourself out. Yeah, yeah. You I just yeah, yeah, I just feel like I feel like at least with comedy, like the, the people that I've always looked up to is like when they're on stage, not only do they like set a tone with an energy, they set a tone what's right and wrong. Yeah. So there's certain comics they're on stage and they they might say a joke and that makes the audience feel uncomfortable because they didn't set the tone for that joke to be okay. Right. <laughs> but the comics, Interesting. you know what I'm saying? But the yeah. comics that we look up to, we admire, at least I assume, don't, don't let me speak for you, but like they go up there and then anything they say is okay because it's a reflection of what they've allowed to be okay in the space. Yeah. They own the space. Yeah. And as you get more successful, like the people have an expectation they're coming to your show to right. see yeah. what That's you do. That's good too. Which is yeah. awesome. I love that. Like yeah. I, I didn't it's, like in the beginning having to flip all these people and get them to understand who I am yeah, in three yeah, minutes yeah. so I could do 12 minutes do. Yep. of jokes. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you want to work towards this thing where you're able to create the art that you want to create. Right? right. But it's like, yeah, that's what I've always wanted to do. It's like, what is the tone? Everything that I'm talking about, I'm joking about in this moment while I'm on stage is okay. When yeah. you go back to your job, that shit might not be okay. Yeah. Right. You felt it in the room, like yes. when we did Radio City, like even afterwards you were telling me like, I don't know how we were laughing and some of the shit we were laughing at. But, but now it makes sense. We came but, to see Andrew Schultz. But, you, so you but he, Schultz, he built you know that to make it okay. Yeah. Exactly. He built it. It's like, you got to go through the scrutiny you have to, to go make through. it okay. Because right. in the beginning, that's right. it's going to be scrutinized when people right. know about you. And then eventually... They don't give a fuck. They, they start to go, oh, that's what he does. That's what he does. And one of the things that like I have, at least, everybody is reflected in my crowd. So yeah. if I'm talking about you, you're there. Yeah. There are certain people, if their crowd just looks like them, they can't really talk about people that aren't there, at least in a critical way, because people start going, well, I feel uncomfortable laughing at someone laying in the room. But right. if we talk about Middle Eastern people and they're right fucking yeah. there, yeah. it's hard to be offended on behalf of the people laughing. Especially if right. you see them laughing too. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That's, yeah. that's what you, that's the goal, man. You want people to come for you. Like, I come to see this motherfucker. Yeah. I know what I'm, it's, I know what I'm here for. And that's, you build on that. But you build you know? that too. Like, yeah. I, I think that that's something that maybe that's why comedians have always resonated with you is like, there's a tone you set on Breakfast Club mm -hmm. that made things okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 that you yeah, would yeah. say the wildest shit or the funniest fucking things yeah. like and it was Charlemagne so it was okay that's a tone set if yeah. Emmy tried to say some of them jokes it wouldn't work yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. right the baby yeah. the the baby thing fucked me that was the best what was when the he baby comes in, is it no? I'm sorry, Birdman. Oh, Birdman. He oh, comes yeah. In and goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of babies out there. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah little babies, fat babies. Thank you, baby. All kinds of babies. <laughs> you came in. Gang, I was gonna run up, and he's like, "Wow, that's weird. You didn't run up on R Rick Ross, did you?" <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Charlemagne's dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. No, he's no. Like, and you and you fucked him up. He's like, uh, 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 but yeah, uh, no, that he was wasn't like that. That was just like, okay, it's eight of them. <laughs> yeah, but, but you, you the way you really bad about putting hands on the me. Way you, the way you, <laughs> the way you handled it, though, it was like. That you that's a tone setting. Like, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just thought, the radio guy. Fuck are you doing? Like, that was yeah. like, whoa. I thought when I thought the funniest shit, and I'm sure you acknowledge it by now, but 
this was tone setting for me. Yeah. Was the dolls in the background. <laughs> Do you know about the dolls? What, voodoo dolls? No, nah, there was an Envy doll and a Charlemagne bobblehead doll in the background of the set. And they would be in uh, gay sex positions every Yo, single what the episode. Fuck yeah, was that? No, no. They put them there and they never acknowledged it, but they would put for them months. in a different for months. And they never acknowledged it. It was the comments were going crazy. Yo, they 69 in the back. Who's doing this? Yo, right? like and then the booty. Remember the booty he made? It? Oh, yeah, we had the booty. Keep, yeah. But for me, I'm watching this and I'm like, Yo, the, the hip hop is just coming around to gay oh, jokes being man. funny. You know what I mean? Like it took a while and now it's coming around. But, but you guys did that and you leaned in and it became hilarious. And it was like, because you set a tone right. yeah, 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 that that's yeah, yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. There's certain people that aren't going to be able to get away with that in your position. I really was just yeah. being an asshole just because I know it pisses people off. Yeah. Like, you know, we got that hip hop audience that'll watch that and be like, oh, they pushing an agenda. I told you they're in the Illuminati. Okay? That's why this, all of this stuff keeps happening good for them because they're pushing the gay agenda. I just really do it just to fuck with people. Right, right, of course. You know? That's I'm just telling you, bro, like, there's like, there's a version of like, there's a version of black people and a version of like extreme white conservatives that have all the exact same, same views about same, it. Exactly. Bro, Absolutely. we need to like broker a peace treaty. Absolutely. <laughs> it's the truth. I ain't it's taking real. that vaccine. I, Me I, neither. I'm telling you. Hey, I, I promise you, if there was no labels, uh, people didn't have their tribe that they was already down yeah, with, and no they doubt. just actually listened to just each other. Just talk to each other. They'd yeah. be like, oh, These shit. motherfuckers. Yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you, I get what you say. I remember when the, what the, I think that it was like the Nazis got with the Nation of Islam, and they were like, yeah, we don't want to be around you either. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> and then they were like, wait a minute, no. Yeah, they were like this, the nation is, because they were like, the nation is, I was like, no, let's have a meeting. They met together and they were all the Muslims were like, this is perfect. We don't like you, you don't like us. We believe that we should have a separate place. I love this. They were like, what? Yeah. Yes, we don't, good. And, and, but it fucked them up because black people were like, yeah, we don't want to be around yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want our own shit. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, well, yeah, hold yeah. up. No, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. That's, you don't want us. Don't, but then they come and fuck it all up. It's like, what? It's actually the same message. They wanted separation, not segregation. Right. And that's what the, uh, the, the, the white supremacists wanted. They wanted right. separation, yeah. not segregation. The white like, supremacists are watching like, this dude's spitting right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where they want to go? Africa or something? <laughs> it's like, and when we ever, we, whenever we say that, yeah, black people, we want our own shit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. go, hold, well, hold on now. No. We want our own shit. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I always say segregation yeah. was a, a a great concept that was poorly executed. Poorly executed. It shouldn't have exactly. been based on race. Right. It should have been based on. I think it should be based on behavior. That's true. I think, I think it should be based on athletic ability. Man, if we fuck with like, hold on, hold on, like hold on, hold on. it should be based it's on. Fire. It's fire. Like, how good do white people need to dance no, in order to about, go to the black? It should be athletic ability. ability. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even about good or bad behavior. It's just about do we have the same type be, of mind? It should be based Yo. on handshakes. Come on, bro. Like, oh yeah, y'all ain't. Yeah, oh, yeah. you staying here, man. <laughs> fuck out of here. Yo, you got to audition <laughs> white people. Dance? You can need dance? to audition. But like this. Yeah. Like, I don't think you can belong in this town. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There'll always be that one white dude like, fuck that, I'm living with you. I'm living Checks. with you, motherfuckers. Get over here. I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, come on, shit. <laughs> Ch but Chet would be in the neighborhood. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like saying invited to the cookout, but he'd be in the neighborhood. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And yeah. whose standard are we basing it off? Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. Whose behavioral standard are we basing it off? Ooh. Mm, good one. All right, you know go. I mean? It's your idea. But <laughs> well, that's why I said for me, it'd be about like minds. Ah, that's yes. it. Like yes, minds. If it's a yes, hundred yeah. of us who this we fuck with each other, we down for each other, we believe in these certain things, we gonna set up shop over here. Man. Right. Y'all set up to whoever, Now, what you know if what, what sure. if the women don't disagree, but they're beautiful? If the women don't hold on, Sorry, don't the women don't agree, but they, they're beautiful. They're not like minded, but they're absolutely beautiful. I'm married, bro. I'm I, black men don't cheat. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, what shit, about the other on. black guys that are going to be on your island? I'm saying I, I wouldn't have no single guys there. I'm married. It'd only be married men. I heard that single shit. Single people don't hang out. Yo, this <laughs> loser. Married 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 men. Married people don't hang out with single you're, people. You're both <laughs> married men. <laughs> That's right. That's a recipe for disaster. You're Yo, both, <laughs> they're both <laughs> married <laughs> men. <laughs> it is true. I don't want to be You've hanging out with single friends. Also, you know what I hate since I'm married? Anybody goes, my partner. Grow Ooh, up. Oh my God. That's Grow the, the fuck, fuck up, dude. Here. Yeah, it's like. No, it is. That's a new What do you say? The old battle axe. Let me tell you about the old <laughs> battle axe. Man, the old fucking battle axe. She's fucking yapping again. 
She's fucking yapping again. Jesus Christ. The old battle axe is yapping. Let me go to the grocery dude, store. The old battle axe is on. Dude, that's fucking. That was if white comedians had cool oh names in the 80s. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> old battle axe. Hey, give it up for battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got to get out of here. Old battle axe is yapping. <laughs> Yo, the old hag is howling. I gotta get out of here, man. I love this lady. I mean, yeah. I hate yo, the term partner, yo. Yo, part, it's just whack. He's like, get married, bro. And, and it's not Grow like, up. it's not specific enough. Partner in what? Huh? Partner yeah, exactly. in what? My partner. What's your partner in it? My partner. <laughs> In my partner. Yeah, call him your roommate. You don't even get to say partner. That's your fucking roommate, bro, until you grow up like an adult and get married. I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, you got to go through this shit, too. Yo, my man's. Yo, it's my man's right here. My Yo, woman. imagine your girl calls you your Yo, man's. That's my man's. Hey. That's how New Yorkers call their girls. Yo, that's my man's. It's my man's right there. Well. That's my done right there. It's my... That's my, my, my Well, it is 2022. <laughs> they do have the a old man. lady. Really might be man. That's my the man. old lady. Yeah, 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 that yeah. might be his man. That's facts, bro. You know what I'm <laughs> I don't know what. I don't, I don't know, know what, what shorty you identify as. as but I love it. it. Yo, what? I'm binary. You know what I mean? Doing things binary, cis and shit. By the way, I'm cis nary by, dude. If Word you pronounce up. it with a Z, it's gender specific. It's not gender specific anyway. What you mean? My <laughs> man's. My man's can be anything. It can my be man's. a woman, a man. My man's. That's my true. Man's. Transgender. Because man, man's. man is in woman. Word. So fuck that. That's how fucked up men are. We fucked all their shit up. We in they name. <laughs> woman. Yeah, we still here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can't leave us. We still <laughs> here. Woman. You better change that. You know what I mean? You better change it to woo. Because <laughs> man is right there. <laughs> women hate us. They go, women. Man, we in there again. Plural. Oh, son. Man. We always in that motherfucker, man. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> need us. That would be binary. Oh, woo, man. man. That's two, right? I don't know binary, man. I don't fucking man. Terms. <laughs> What y'all said about, here, uh, I don't fuck, know about terms. Here, <laughs> By the way, what y'all said about people showing up places. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> what y'all said about people showing up places is exactly why I hate outrage culture, right? What you mean? Because I know what's happening at an Andrew show. I know what's happening at a Godfrey show. Yeah, yeah, why yeah. would I go just to be offended? Because, don't go there. because that's why I keep telling to... people about January 6th is like that was our shit. Man, do you know what I'm up, saying? Man. Like, that was for us, bro. That had shut nothing up. to do with y'all. Y'all were so upset about shut it. Up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was there with my mans and them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> low, low key, though. Low key. Yeah. Low key. Yeah. Yo, the boys listen. can't kill them together. Listen, <laughs> low key, low key. January 6th, there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of envy there because if anybody should have snapped a long time ago and did something like that, it's black people. Word. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you're looking at it like, see, but see, if we had the community, yeah, yeah, we all yeah, was on the same page yeah, about yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Word. I don't fuck with this government either. We would all <laughs> rushed it. We would all rush it, but we would have been the first because we were Y'all would have been there quick. Y'all would have been on a fifth. We would have been sprinting it and all white dudes be like, come on, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Damn, you guys are fast. It would have looked segregated. <laughs> <laughs> Hold Just, up. We would go by speed. <laughs> you know, there would always be that one white lightning yeah, guy so keeping up. Two groups of people completely separated. That would make so much sense. Yeah. Now it makes this why we call it a race. Yes. <laughs> you know yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Queen. Yes. Yes. Where are women at? How long would it take to come to the this. comedy club? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why people come to the comedy club knowing that they what you're in for. Because being offended is a hobby now. It, no, it's, it's a, a job. hobby. It's, it's a like, job, it's, a, it's, a, it's their thing, right? It's, it's like, yo, it's and it, it's like narcissism, man. It's at a level, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't like cat the fuck up, and that's the beautiful thing about comedy. You go, yo, yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. How about that? That's the beautiful thing about comedy. You can tell someone to shut the fuck up and not get fired. Yeah, I yeah, saw everybody shut the fuck up and everybody. get money for that. <laughs> up. No, for real. Shut the fuck up and they're paying you. Yeah. That was yeah. great. <laughs> the fuck? Have you ever had Comedy's a Comedy's amazing. Like, though, yeah. when you told that girl she has a big forehead, <laughs> yo, here's your money, man. Yeah, yeah, Good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Come back next. Come back next year. All the people around. That was the greatest thing I ever saw. You ever have moments on stage where you're like, yo, this is wild. We get to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You start philosophizing a little bit on stage. That's a dangerous thing to do even on stage because you realize how silly this whole thing is. It's so silly. Right? It's it's the whole process of a motherfucker's coming into a a, a, a room to ha ha and go home. <laughs> don't even, th- I don't okay, even like sir. think about it. They just want to go home. Like, no, they get we ready. Nah, nah, nah. We need y'all. Just so they can no. go. We need y'all. So they can go. We need y'all. <laughs> you want to go home now? Yeah. And that, <laughs> that yeah. shit, and you don't know me. And I'm like, I got some funny shit to tell you. That, that's why there's things that it's like, amazing. that don't make sense, but when it feels good, it does. Like, yeah. there's something about, like exercise fucking sucks. And then afterwards you're like, I'm so glad I yes, did it. Yeah. That's how I look at like laughing, even yeah. with friends yeah, or no a doubt. comedy show. No like doubt. you go there and some people you think you're, oh, I'm, this is this philosophical point of view about whatever. Like if they give you them philosophical points of view and they don't make you laugh, you're not happy. Right. You're right. not leaving like, man, I really got some philosophy you're, you're today. You're angry. You're, you're upset. Right. But if you get that laugh out, right. like yeah. a fucking cathartic yeah. moment, if there's a, something if, that if happens, If these motherfuckers bro. ain't giggling, imagine. This motherfucker didn't make me giggle, man. I'm pissed. Yeah. I'm fucking mad. Like, yeah, you yeah. didn't make me... <laughs> yeah. I like a that. good bombing now. I'm not going to lie. I like oh, Charlamagne both. loves a bomb. You, no, like, you like some comics or bombing? I do. I like a good bombing. I like... Lie. He's a comic, bro. I'm telling you, he's no, a comic. Deep, he deep do, down in, deep down most inside. civilians, they hate seeing a bomb. Charlamagne <laughs> sees a bomb and he gets bricked up <laughs> just watching that shit. He's so fucking happy. He had a good like. I like... There was one... I like when comics that are... I like when hacks bomb. I like when comics that think they're the shit with a hacky shit bomb. This dude did it on my show. I let him on my show, let him do a couple minutes. He rocked. He rocked his little, it was hacky as fuck. He did all right. He did cool yeah. at first. Then he was real confident. Can I get on the show again? You know what I'm saying? And we was like, yeah, cool. You go. And he was like, man, I don't know if certain cats can, I don't know if motherfucker can follow me. I was like, oh. He said that? He I was like, well, he just came out of the blue and said that about one comic. Another comic was going to go on. He goes, you sure you want to go after me? Whoa. He went up and ate his dick and we enjoyed it. He and he was. And you know, when you do well, <laughs> yo, yo, you know, when you, you know, when you, you know, when you, you do well, you you hang around the club. Yeah, he was you do well. Oh, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got, I got another gig. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you go wash out your dry mouth? You jackass. Get the fuck out of here. Here's some water for that dry mouth. He's like. I gotta go up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, here's some water for that fucking cotton mouth. You bomb, beat it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I love I enjoy that when I yeah. see hacks, but yeah. Cause let me be I'm gonna be real honest. Yeah. Mediocrity Ow. is the fucking mode of the day. It's like, it's just the it's just too much mediocrity in comedy to me. I think it's too a much lot mediocrity of it, everywhere. A lot of TED talks going on. Yeah. A lot of fucking TED talks. I'd rather just start a I, podcast if you yeah, want to yeah, do yeah. a TED Do talk. a real TED talk. Yeah, yeah, do a real, just there, put TED There are the TED talks. TEDx thing. It's great. <laughs> just put TEDx. It's Can fun. you go to the comedy club? I did one. Put That's a TED, great. <laughs> right. Put a TEDx <laughs> thing and we won't expect no punchlines. Cool. Yeah. yeah. But don't fucking come to a comedy club and you're just fucking talking and where's punch the lines. fucking yeah. punchline? You gonna tell me we did it wrong? You remember, remember, Tell me, Carlin did it wrong. Cosby did it wrong. Pryor did it wrong. Joe Rivers did it wrong. All these Bernie Mac did it wrong. No, they did not. No, but I think a know, lot of people yeah. are watching Chappelle's last thirty minutes of his show, so they'll watch him. Like you'll go to Chappelle's show and you'll see the show, and mm-hmm. you're like, "I want to." That's recreate. the punchline. But then when the show's yeah. over, Chappelle will stick around. Oh yeah, and do thirty minutes, forty minutes of just 30, talking. 40. Uh, two, two hours. hours. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> listen, I think listen. people are watching. That I know the now. show is over, but it's still. I want to bring my friends. That's what I'm saying. On stage. Oh, when you saw what he did. I the- want my friends to sing some songs. We got John Mayer. He's going to sing some this songs. Guy, bro. Then we this got guy. some other people. This oh, guy. shit. Got another friend. Talib Kweli. Then we got some other people. We got a whole bunch. We're going to have a whole concert. And after the concert, I'll do another hour. Because I can't leave. Well, that would just be me talking. I heard, yeah. us, I heard from <laughs> Gnome at the Comedy Show. I gave yes. you a great compliment. He goes, uh, you know, Daryl Hammond, SNL. Oh, yeah. He goes, Daryl Hammond would work his impressions for like weeks to try to get them down. He'd work them, but he'd go up at the cellar, he'd work them out, he'd be tweaking things, trying to, he goes, Godfrey would hear somebody once and do a better impression than Daryl Hammond. That's a gift, man. 
I like I, if, if you don't even work it, it feels like. I and, I, and I got rejected by SNL three times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I remember my first, than you. my first audition at SNL. Yeah, why did you never get SNL, man? I, I'm, oh, I'm trying to understand and that. What's funny is yeah. Daryl Hammond ended up telling me why. Ooh. Years later, I, when what I was first, the reason? Well, when I first did it, it was me, Tracy Morgan, Kevin James. It was a bunch of Jimmy Fallon. It was talent, all of us. Talent. There's talent. And we're at the comic strip. And they was like, you need four characters and four impersonations. Yep. So I did some characters and shit. I did impersonations. Then I added an extra impersonation just to top that bitch. I did Johnny Carson because I'm a black dude doing Carson. I was like, wow, did not know that. Good stuff. <laughs> so I had a standing ovation my first audition. I said, you know, I'm coming from Chicago. Mm -hmm. I grew up watching Eddie Murphy. I'm thinking, I might get this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a standing ovation, bro. Didn't even make it to the second round. Wow. What happened? They ended up picking Tracy. I didn't make it to the second round. And everybody's like. Wow. So they weren't going for impressions then? No. No, they but were, they told me what I needed to do. They gave you the instructions. Yeah, but that's the same for everything. I, I Maybe it was a casting thing because Tracy, they're going for character, right? Tracy's always playing Tracy. Well, right. Uh, but I just don't understand then, even after I that. I the one new black at a time. <laughs> well, yeah, that was, it was. What, what, it was, what, is, oh, what no. is this rule you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> Only one what is going on? What is this rule you speak of for the past hundred <laughs> years? <laughs> what is all of this? <laughs> You'll you take is, what we give you. It is you ain't my baby, <laughs> baby, baby. Okay, second please time. Please don't let me down. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm saying Tom and Jerry. Um, so, um, years later, I'm doing this. Um, um. Table read with Colin Quinn. Yeah. It's me, him, Rachel Sands, Tracy Morgan's there. It's like at the studio and Colin needed a favor for me. Yeah. And I was like, he goes, I need you to read some of these characters. You know, you know, you can do these characters. And then, you know, I don't fucking, I was like, all right. He's Colin. like, play a Dominican, Russian, boom, boom. So I did all the accents. Boom. I'm just doing my shit. I'm just helping him out. Yeah. Because Adam Sandler is supposed to produce this film he wrote. And then I see Marcy Klein. I didn't know who she was. Marcy Klein, Calvin Klein's daughter, who was the, she was the person that got everybody into, um, into SNL. Gotcha. Wow. It was Marcy Klein. Yeah. So I didn't know who the fuck this lady was. I was just sitting there reading and this lady, blonde lady's like, who, who, who are you? Who are you? I was like, yeah, I'm God, I'm just here reading. She goes, I need your information. And I'm like, who the fuck is this lady? Yeah. She goes, that's fucking Marcy Klein. That's Marcy Klein. She gets people in on, she's the casting for SNL. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, she goes, the way you're transitioning out of these accents, da, 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 da. she said, I need your information. I was like, okay. I was with William Morris at the time. And I said, okay, fuck it. And then I gave him information, never got in return, nothing back. Hmm. Nothing back. And I was like, okay, this is not for me. Mm -hmm. And then there was a guy named T. Sean Shannon. He was a writer for SNL. He used to be a seller guy. And he was a writer for SNL. And he was like trying to get me to audition again. I go, dude, I've been rejected. I, they don't fuck with me. I was like, why do you, I'm not doing it. Then Jamie Masada, you know, from Laugh yep. Factory, yep. he calls me and he goes, Jamie Masada owns Laugh Factory in LA. He owns a bunch of Laugh Factory, but he goes, buddy, he's from Persia. He's a Persian Jewish cat yeah. that has the worst accent. He's been there in America 50 years and his accent's still fucked up. Yeah. He's like, buddy, you have to come audition for SNL. Buddy, I need you to audition. I fly you out to LA, buddy. You can do it. I know you can do it. You have to, buddy. You have to. I said, Jamie, I'm not doing it. I've always already been reject. Fuck all that shit. That's when they gave it to Finesse Mitchell that year. Well, I didn't finesse, come. I didn't yeah, audition. Yeah, yeah. So Dar Daryl Hammond comes up to me and say, you know, Daryl didn't talk to a lot of people. Yeah. He's always to himself. But he always talked to me. He goes, Godfrey, I just wanted, I've been wanting to tell you this shit for a fucking while. I said, what's up? He goes, I was there at your audition that, that night you got that uh, standing ovation, nobody could follow that after that. You you decimated the whole place. I said, he goes, but I knew you weren't going to get it. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, you, I knew you weren't going to get that shit. You just, they didn't want to see that Eddie Murphy shit again. Oh, what does that mean? He kept yeah. it 100 with me. <clears throat> like they didn't want somebody to have that type they, of success again? They didn't want. The show is the star. The show is the star, not. He told me this. The he goes like this, I'm telling show. you as a white man who's been on the show a long <clears throat> time, yeah. I'm telling you. And I didn't ask him to tell me this yeah, shit. Yeah. This is at the bar at the cellar. He goes, I've always been wanting to tell you that. I'm sure you always wanted closure on that. I said, yeah, man. I've always wondered. I just knew. I said, yeah, I knew anytime. 
even explain Dane, what you mean by that for people. He he said, but explain what he meant by that. He I, said you I, would just yeah. outshine. It would be an outshining type of thing, and they're not into that. Because Eddie Murphy literally. I mean, he yeah, he's a lightning bolt. He's, bro. He was let, the greatest. Eddie, but at the time, it was like a different producer, Dick Ebersaw, and 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 I think SNL was in like third place. And then when Eddie got there, it went straight to number one. Yeah. And I mean, then Eddie yeah. was the only cast member that hosted while he was on the show. Yeah. I mean, think about that. He was the only Imagine one. Imagine hosting the show you're already on. You're already on you're and he that hosted famous. it. That's respect. That's respect. And because no, Eddie was that cold. Yeah. You know? The and best. SNL should Eddie. understand that that's part of the legend of SNL, the fact that they churn out so many superstars. I mean, yeah, everybody yeah. Died Eddie, but, but this they... is what Daryl told me. Yeah. I mean, I was like, but I had closure. I was like, so he goes, there's so many levels to this. He just wanted to tell me that. There's people above Lauren Michael, too. I said, oh, yeah. And he was just breaking it down to me. Mm. And I go, I, he's been on the show for damn 15 years. He, he told that shit to me. But you can live with that. I can, at least there was glad. Say, but I already knew that wasn't my thing. It wasn't going to happen. So, yeah, it was weird. Because people were like, how are you not on a sketch? How are you? But yeah. shout out to Michael Che and Man, him, like, Michael hooking Che's. me up. Oh, Dude, did I you was do able a lot to do of stuff. With, I, did the, I did the first thing. I did the one thing with you. Remember, we, it was a party scene. Yeah, Schultz was in there too. But yeah, I watched yeah. you. you they, I, saw I did you the Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. That I did the shit Steve so Harvey. Funny, man. I'm in prosthetics. Oh my and I was god! Like, oh yeah, yeah. I wanted them to let yo you go ass, more though. We yo ass survey said I told yo ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo ass stupid. That's what I told y'all, dumb ass. That shit was so funny. Man, Michael Che, man. Shout out to Michael Shout out to Che. che man. He got his, just... his shows out now on HBO. You HBO can watch Max. It HBO Max. And it, I did first season. I did two two gr really good sketches. That damn Michael Che. That I damn Michael Che. I didn't mean to. I, I, meant to, I never watched it before. Right. right. So I was going to watch the second season, but I must have started on the first season and didn't yeah. realize it. And yeah. the episodes are so quick. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's great. yo, Che's show is very good. Yeah, and Che, good, very good. Loves just talent and people shining. And like, and a shout out to Nick Cannon too, man. Yeah. I've been doing, <laughs> I didn't want to do Wild and Out because I, I was like, oh, that ain't for me, dude. He goes, dude, are you out of your fucking mind? You got to do Wild and Out. So I've done season 16, 17. I just did 18s coming out June 21st. Good. And he goes, dude, we set it up for you to do to impersonate all that shit. Shout out to fucking Nick Cannon because Nick yeah. likes to see people shine. He's Lord just like, he, he yeah. goes, I'm a Who's boss, bro. Um, he goes, I don't, I don't want to intimidate. Was I like to get yeah. better. I love talented people. It makes me better because that he always wants to learn. Yeah. He's a, like, yo, how do you? And he, I was writing for his daytime talk show. Yeah, yeah. How, much, got yeah. how much of yeah. this do you think has to do with like you building up your star online? Yes. Because I think that plays a role but as well. But you were one of the people that kicked me in the ass. Yeah. When you, I remember when Andrew Schultz, when you grew the bigger mustache, <laughs> you were tired of shit. <laughs> when your mustache was bigger and you were mad. He had the pawns. Remember, stash, remember nah, we had the same manager, Jordan Tilson? Yeah. 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 Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. was with, um, Shout out to Roar. Jordan. Roar, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. had, I had big your name. I said, what do you think about Andrew? So I said, oh, dog, no, Andrew's dope. He's coming. That motherfucker's coming. I, we had the same manager for a second. And I remember we did, what's the hockey thing we did? Oh, Benders. benders. We did Benders. benders I was yeah. the goalie, dude. With Chrissy D. Yeah, I yeah, was the yeah, goalie. Yeah, it was yeah, Serpico yeah. and those Serpico, guys. Those, yeah, I, and yeah, they, yeah, that's yeah. Dennis Leary, and they always pick me for shit. Yeah, yeah. And I remember <laughs> you, there was a period where he just had a big-ass mustache. Yeah. And Andrew was just <laughs> fucking done. Yeah, Andrew was tired of the fucking business. He, he was, was like this. In the and I go, we were he at was. the bar. It's always at the comedy cellar bar. He goes, yeah. yo, what's up? He goes, fuck these people, man. <laughs> I'm not waiting on these motherfuckers. I'm not waiting. He goes, hey, let me get two more bourbon shay. <laughs> no, I'm not waiting on these motherfuckers. He goes, dude, I'm doing, I'm putting my shit up on my own, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But if you, I got a guy, if you, I got a guy. Yeah. You need the guy to boom, start doing that. He said, fuck these dudes. We can yeah. do this shit ourselves. Absolutely. That was about four or five years ago. I remember you were like, yeah, fuck yeah. all of it. And then that's when his shit went. Oh. <laughs> and and he, hard work. Yeah. And I was like, look at what Andrew's doing. Andrew told me that shit. He goes, dude, God, you need to fucking start doing that. Burt Kreischer was like, I remember I did Burt Kreischer's podcast. He goes, bro, you got to do your podcast. You got to do a podcast, Godfrey. You got to do a podcast. <laughs> I can do birth. He's like, you can do a podcast. Godfrey. He's like, you gotta do a podcast. Dude, you gotta do a podcast. Godfrey, I've known you for a fucking long time. Doesn't make any sense. Dude, you're not fucking. <laughs> I'm telling you. You gotta, do, you gotta do a podcast. 
<laughs> Seriously. But I and knew then, I saw what he, happened. And that you, yeah. him, just they <laughs> pow in the ass. But I knew oh, for you man. what was gonna happen is that like things were gonna pop online. And I'd be on YouTube <laughs> and I'd see you start to like a clip would go viral. You get a bunch of views on a clip, clip or something like that. And then what happens is like when these shows are casting, they can't not think about you because you're in the ether. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. when you got nothing on, you're the funny guy that they're seeing crush at the cellar, or maybe they catch you on the road, but like you're not in the conversation when they're casting for a thing. But once they see you do Steve Harvey, of course, Jay, well, Jay already knows because you guys know yeah. each other for the cellar, but like a Nick Cannon who you might not even have a relationship, they're like, nah, this is fucking hilarious. We need to get him on the thing. We'll even yeah. change part of the yeah. show so you could do it. You're just in the conversation because yeah. the conversation yeah. is on it's YouTube. Happening. You spark ideas in other people. And it was really um, the pandemic. I really took advantage of that shit. Pandemic, you know, yeah. everybody's at home. And I was listening to Dame Dash. I was listening to Dame Dash on one of his lives. Mm -hmm. And you know, Dame, Dame is like, you either take him or you can't. Yeah. And Dame goes, and the guy goes, so man, yo, Sean, what you going to do? He goes, what the fuck you think I'm going to do? The fuck you think? He's like, yo, everybody's at home right now. All right. The creators are running this shit. If you ain't doing shit every day on a motherfucking line, you're a fucking cornball. Yo, <laughs> fuck that, man. You're supposed to be every day. I'm going to be in motherfuckers faces creating this off fucking time. Man, I took that shit. I was online every single night for two years. Never missed a, a live. I'll be on there five hours. Be on there from 12 to fucking five in the morning. Wow. Collected fans. Nas DMs me. Nas DMs me. My favorite. Nas. Right. It's Nas. Our era Nas? It, yes. It's, it's not, not Lil, not Lil, Lil No, okay. You can have that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's funny. I, 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 liked, his, yeah, I yeah. liked his interview. I liked his interview. He's yeah. actually a, a normal kid. That's Absolutely. fucking with people. It's just that when you old and you say Nas around certain people, they, they, but my Nas, Nasir Jones, you're not see it right. Yeah. And he called me, he DM me, and some dude, you know, I'm on live, and some dudes like this, yo, and, and you know, people used to fuck with me because I'm coming. They go, yo, Nas following you, son. This dude just kept going, yo, Nas following you, son. <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up. He goes, nah, man, Nas following you, son. <laughs> so I check, I go, Nas is following me, son. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I text Nas. I just send him DM to Nas. He's like, hey, Nas, thank you for following me. He goes, <laughs> he goes, yo, King, boom. Here's my number. I call him. I talk to Nas for two hours. Wow. This motherfucker goes, yo, yo, man, I just want to tell you, son. Yo, that shit you do with the motherfucking pipe and shit. Yo, that's my shit. What? The shit I was just putting shit online. That's it, he goes, bro. that's, I love that shit. That that's shit's it. next level shit. Yo, for real. And I'm talking to him for I go, you know you're Nas, right? I yeah. just want to let you know that I'm not going to act like I ain't frantic as fuck right now. <laughs> <laughs> Keith <laughs> Murray, then Lenny Kravitz sends me a message. Yeah. Wow. Lenny Kravitz. Now I'm friends with Lenny. Just because of the stuff I was putting online. Yeah, you got to feed the beast, these, bro. You, you got to feed, feed the beast. And then I start doing my, and people didn't know I can imitate so many people. I went against Ari Spears, went against Jay Farrow. Went against all these dudes. I have more voices than most of them. I didn't, they didn't, they go, I didn't know. When I did Steve Harvey, which I thought everybody was doing Steve Harvey. I've never heard of People call Harvey me and said, uh, Aries Spears like, yo, really, son? Uh, yeah. Nigga, Steve Harvey? I said, yeah. He goes, nigga, shit, I didn't know you had all these voices, son. Then we had the Paul Mooney off. Yeah, yeah. When I was doing <laughs> Paul Mooney, you niggas. I am so goddamn tired of <laughs> all you goddamn niggas. <laughs> Rest these, hey, to the legend. These goddamn white folks, they don't like your ass, nigga. You better wake the fuck up. <laughs> and then Aries start battling me with the Paul Mooney shit. I said, Aries, I don't even give a fuck. We're online. Who gives a shit? Yeah, 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 First yeah. of all, it's not our voice. It's his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who's the best ball? <laughs> Paul. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because he's like, man, I got to get you on the Paul Mooney. I go, it's his voice. It yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah. Who gives a fuck, bro. Yeah. Let's just get on there and start fire, bro. Yeah. But I was doing mad shit. I was, then I started doing Richard Pryor. It was setting out, it was, I was setting niggas off. And you know, Jay Farrell's very skilled. Yeah. I got him on the Pryor. Who do you think is the best in history? As far as voices. Mm. If you don't say you. Okay. I was about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One man. <laughs> 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 like, who, who did you look at and go, wow, that person's great? Oh, 
Oh, you know, it's hard because there was a, a man by the name of George Kirby, old school black comedian from the 60s and 50s. George Kirby, that dude could do Ella Fitzgerald. He could sing oh, like Oh, he could Ella, sing as well. Wow. Like oh, Ella that's Fitzgerald crazy. and can imitate all. Yeah, 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 yeah. George Kirby, which people should look up. George Kirby, underrated. Holy shit. George Kirby, um, Rich Little was pretty good. Rich Little was the white dude who just did all in person. He yep. did all the presidents. Yep. I met him. He's like 83 years old. I met him. Rich Little, um, the best, because it's hard to say because you don't know how many voices every person can yeah. do. Yeah. So, oh, there was um, Jeff Pollack. Jeff oh, po the guy that was on... Uh... In uh, Few Good Men. Yeah. Jeff Pollack, he's an impersonator. Oh, really? Frank Gorshin, who played the Riddler in the 60s, was an impersonator. Oh, wow. Well, Frank Gorshin uh... played the Riddler in the Batman from this, you know, yeah, yeah, Pop yeah, Belly yeah. Batman with the skinny legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Adam West. <laughs> yeah. like, Robin, we have to find... The car. Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> exactly, bro. I have to find Kev Woman. And some people are good with mannerisms, but not voice. Like, yeah. he, like Keenan Ivory Wayans was great with mannerisms, I think. Right, right, right. Like, J J Jim Carrey, no, Jim Carrey was more of like, can morph into, Jim yeah. Carrey was another level. He was yeah. one of the first guys I opened up for doing comedy. Oh, Jim really? Carrey. Yeah. What, what was his stand-up like? His stand-up was very, like, he did a lot of body movements, which was like, how the fuck is he doing that? But jokes so as well jokes, as impersonation? Scenarios or? he did. Because I opened up when I was in Chicago. It was at the Illinois Institute of Technology. My friend was running. The, uh, uh, here's the team. scenario, and then here are these characters yeah, operating like in this, this scenario. You know, you ever see a guy, he would just stop. Da, 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 and he'd just be like, mm, mm, and it was like, whole. Oh, it was <laughs> yeah, funny. He transforms in front he goes, of yeah, 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 I always yeah. hate when I go to a supermarket. And yeah. you just thought, uh, and he would just, and it would be the funniest shit. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was there very, he's an alien. Super he's a really, really skilled. He's so yeah. skilled. Now, with that said, would you be disappointed if you went to a Jim Carrey show? Because you know it's going to be a TED Talk at this point. Well, Jim ain't doing stand-up at this point yeah. anymore. Jim is against, he's against Hollywood now. Yeah, he's coming yeah, around. Yeah. Like, he was at a dark moment, and I feel like now he's finally kind of seeing the light. I think a lot of people Seeing the light, it. like, as far as... like. And again, I don't know Jim. This is just observing right, right, and seeing right, right. very little. So I right. could be talking shit. But right. like, I think what happens is like uh, when maybe people get everything that they've ever wanted yep. and they're not happy still, they they start to realize that, and I don't even like saying these kind of things out loud, but like they start to realize that like, you know, we're just on a rock hurtling through space. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here for a very short time and right. if you compare it to how long the universe has existed, it's it's a snap of the finger, right? right. It's nothing. And I think when people think about that too much, it gets depressing, right? Yeah. You start going, oh, is this nothing? Are yeah. we all part of nothing? Right. And there's beauty in that when you get to the other side. And I think he was at one point where he was kind of like on red carpets talking about, yeah, none of this matters and everything's yeah, yeah, meaningless. And then yeah. it was like, whoa, is, is the funniest guy ever? The guy who made me so happy? Like, is he really sad? And now it seems like he's kind of coming around. I think the the coming around part is the, whether it's nothing or not, we fucking need each other. We need to talk. We need to laugh. Yeah, we need right. family. We need to fucking love each other. We like helping each other. It actually yeah. makes us feel good when like, someone that we love succeeds or we can That's help someone. That's a good someone. thing. A lot of comics are not like that because I'm going to keep it. It takes time to get there, I know bro. it takes yeah, time. Yeah, I, yeah. Got, I, got my, I got comics and it's funny that I know they don't like me. I know it and they don't know I know. I know specific motherfuckers too. And they're, and I'm like, and I love helping people. I like, yeah, I yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. I love when I give don't, somebody, hey man, go connect with that. I love that word, shit. Word, I, word. I've never been a hater. But a ever lot, a in my lot life. of times, like, and I, and I just hate this mediocrity. Has helped, this has helped me <laughs> get through get through certain yeah. things like that with relationships and like just even forgive people. It's like a lot of times, like the way that people are talking about you is a reflection of where you are and where they are. True. And and like, I think we've all witnessed, at least in comedy. Yeah. You know, I've I've seen guys that like are so fucking talented and then maybe not getting opportunities or maybe not doing the right things and then they get bitter because of it. Yeah. And it's just like. Well, you're not a bitter guy. You just believe that you deserve more and right. you just yeah. don't have the the ability to get yourself more or you just need someone to nudge you. Yeah. So them hating on you or being upset at you got really nothing to do with your behavior. It's that they are not. That's right. But what, then there's some people that yeah. are already doing good. That's not too saying. bad. And they're hating. Like yeah. you're like, well, they're, they're looking at you. Are they looking at shows and they're like, well, I need to be there. It's like, no, but you are where you're, you're supposed already to be. there. Yes. It's like you can't be in, you can't run in everybody's lane. Yeah. Well, there's, you're gonna, you, you have your yeah, own lane. Feel you don't want me to have this Some success. Why does it fucking weird? And I know people who are prominent motherfuckers that have said that shit around me. Like, I don't like when other motherfuckers make it. 
I'm that's, not mentioning names because they're not here to defend themselves. That's silly. But it's really, I'm you, telling you, you that's, that's, that's and it's silly. scary. Here's the thing. Because they're in positions where they can influence and they somebody. Do. And they do. And they go, nah, don't fucking pick that dude or fuck that dude because some people, they'll believe what they say and won't give you that chance. I've had people do this to me. Because some people go, need it all. But and they can't and even. You can't have nah, it all. It's they, like when I when I, if I tell this have man a about a gig, place. I'm telling you because yeah. I don't want anybody to see me every week. I want people yeah. to get like, come back later. Like, what am I? I'm gonna hog a fucking gig. Yeah. They need to see other comedians. If you're good enough, they're gonna bring you back. If you're dope enough, they're gonna bring you back. But yeah. people are, yo, I. Something that's wild to yeah. me because that's that's it's what crazy. I crazy. Like, I want to be the Clarence Avon. Lauren, I, I love shit you like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You want to be. I that, love that, when I hook people. I that, love that. That king maker, that Son, queen maker. That was the thing. At least you know, like that was the thing with Rogan that I thought was so transformative within oh, comedy. Absolutely. Yeah. Is it like absolutely. the guy yeah. with all the power absolutely. was trying to put people on? Oh, that's great. Absolutely. And yeah. like, it it was just so rare. And what there was like a trickle down effect with that shit, where like everybody else was trying to put people on too, because yeah. they were like, well, shit, if if the king doing it. Who am I to be selfish? No doubt, right? And these cats are eating, getting yeah. on his show. I what? think Rogan, um, Rogan, what? Rogan for comedy that was a super Rogan, rare thing. Awesome like, with Rogan. I think he filled the lane that I haven't sh- done Rogan yet. You haven't but done Rogan yet, Godfrey? Oh, oh you got to do Rogan. Well, well, you know him, right? That's Schultz. Yeah. Schultz. He, he's more Schultz. Hey, Schultz. Yeah. Well, Schultz I'll has the face of a Rogan. I'll plug you in. I'll plug you in. Right. Right. Yeah, Rogan's going to pick guys like that. He lives in the neighborhood. Right, right. He's in the neighborhood. Like this. Hey, now, Rogan, now that's my buddy. He's trashing the guy that he wants no, to go no. on the show. No, I really, really, I would love to because yeah. everyone's like, because Willie D from the Ghetto Boys, yeah. Rogan's a big fan of Willie D. Willie's oh, yeah, my yeah. dude, like my rad man. And Willie's like, yo, I, I want you. I'm, He's like, man, I want to get you on that. I was like, I, I, it has to be a thing where he knows he's yeah. following me. But Rogan's equal opportunity. If you're, if you're dope, you're talented. That's you're it. Funny, he's great. I would love to be on Rogan. I, people, because I've done Marin. I've done Marin twice. Yeah. Because I know Marin. Yeah. Marin was like, hey, I you think you guys be. would have a lot of fun. I, I know we would. I think we Rogan had a fucking like, great. Had a, we had a ball. I'm sure you that had was, a ball with Rogan. I need to go back and do it. I want to do Rogan next month, actually. Oh, you guys. See, you you just me, said next month. I'm just no, doing, if I can. Oh, oh, shut Charlemagne up, Charlemagne. Guy, you know you can do it. I hate it. I hate your <laughs> fake humility. <laughs> that bugged me. You go like this. I think I'm going to do it next month. I think I'm going to do it next month. No, I, wonder. I don't know. It depends on my schedule. But what were you, you know, saying? Because, you know, you we say? have billions of followers on Breakfast Club. <laughs> what were you saying oh, about... Uh, that really pissed me off. <laughs> about <Rogan. laughs> But I though, really hated that. Mu- I hated his humble. He threw it away. He's like, I don't know. Next month. <laughs> if he left me, if he, if he got the oh, room. Oh, God. <laughs> if you got the room. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He has one of the biggest platforms yeah. in history. And he's like, I don't know. He has the room for me. <laughs> no, I was saying that he filled the lane that I feel like the champs left open. Ch- oh, yeah. Who, the cha- who, who, champs who? podcast, Neil and uh, Neil, Moshe Kasha, because they, they were bringing in all of the comedians. I did you it know once, what I mean? Especially, yeah. the, uh, really, I think it was the you black do champs? Comedians. Did you ever do champs? No, I never did. I did it I one time. Champs. I did champs. I, I, I heard you on Kasha. there. I heard you on champs. I heard... Tiffany, I think that was the first time I heard Tiffany's story. I think they only had black guests. That's it. I was like, oh, yeah, that was a weird thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because, yeah, 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 yeah. Neil's in the black people. And, <laughs> He's the black and, whisperer. And Moshe Cash is from Oakland, so <laughs> Moshe, <laughs> that, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and, he came, and, he, and, he, and he grew up like, uh, uh, Moshe did. Yeah. I, remember I said, asking, okay. I remember asking Neil why did he stopped doing it. He was like, ah, there's no more black comedians. He ran out of what? No, he no he ran out of black guys he liked. There's a lot of black comedians you don't know. Why did you interview them? I need the super Negroes. <laughs> I need super. Because I remember when I was on Mark Barron's podcast, Judd Apatow comes oh, up to me. He goes, Judd man. goes, your your episode on Marin is one of my favorite episodes. Because me and Marin are shitting on each other. I go, Marin, I say, you barely bring any black people out here. He goes, what do you mean? I, I had Obama. Not the super Negroes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's Obama, motherfucker. Regular motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like a Jim, like a, like, a, like a Danny Perkins, like a regular motherfucker. The you, only oh, black guy yeah, he brought yeah, on yeah. was the president? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you have the qualification. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because me and more black people to get president. Because me and him, me and Obama's man. episodes were one after the other, which was great because it's good. You had to follow numbers. Obama. I had to follow Obama, and I was and 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 Poor I Marin was, is like, I think they like black folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I look at Marin, and Marin got all these black people on his wall. You got, I got, you got all these blues players on you. He's just like a white dude. Got all this black paraphernalia, but no black people on your podcast. 
And then Marin's shitting on me. I'm shitting on him. And it, we had fun because that's what we do. Right. I said, man, and I and that's the thing. It's like, I think that's what happened with Brennan. He ran out of... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I, I got a question. James Brown you. was dead. <laughs> Luther was dead. <laughs> he, he, couldn't, he couldn't interview them. Martin Luther King gone. Oh, Malcolm X gone. <laughs> Bernie Mac. Yes, motherfucker. You came up under Bernie, right? I sure motherfucking did. Yeah. I'm um, in Chicago, man. Chicago was me, Deion Cole. It was uh, Corey Holcomb. And he had that Legend. iconic room, right? Yeah, Bernie it was the had Cotton Club. The Cotton Club. Cotton Club. And I remember when, your I, name? when I was doing when I was doing open uh, mics, I was doing mainstream open mics, actually. Then I say, man, I want to do like, I want to do more black audiences because I want to make sure my shit's legit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I would transition. I never really had to change my shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I remember they say, go go see Bernie Mac. You got to go see Bernie Mac. And there, there was a movie called Love Jones. Oh, yeah. Love Jones. My was, wife's favorite movie. Right. My Love Jones was a Chicago film. Mm. And a guy named Ted Witcher, we used to go to see, we used to go see Slam Poetry. And my friend who, who um, consulted, uh, uh, what's his name? Lamar, um, Lorenz Tate. Lorenz mm -hmm. is from Chicago. Lorenz Tate, my boy Reggie, was the poetry, international poetry slam champion who went to high school with me. Oh, and wow. So he was, in, in the movie, you can see him sitting next to Reggie. He's like, yo, Reg, that's, I went to high school with Reg. Wow. And my other friend who I went to high school with is the girl Bernadette with the braids who works in the record store. Wow. We, I drove to New York with her. That, in 97, I came to New York with her. Wow. And my first roommate was Viola Davis. Viola Davis, yeah. Yeah. Crazy shit. I think she was on your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my yeah. first roommate with Bernadette driving U-Haul truck. It was like 60 all in the house, right? It was four of us. Four of us, okay. U-Haul truck. First person I see when I get to New York, Wood Harris, who's from Chicago, oh, who yeah. used to go to Poetry Slams with me. Wow. Wood Harris. Wood is like, yo, I just got accepted to Tish at NYU. I go, bet. I want to come next year. A year later, I see Wood Harris on 6th Avenue, crossing the street, going to class, driving. Wow. U-Haul truck, Bernadette. We go. Viola Davis at Juilliard. The fuck? Wow. Yeah. I didn't Viola was a nobody. Just working her ass off. Boom, but you gotta read her book though. Shit. Oh, no, her book is incredible. And incredible. Fuck incredible. incredible. Her yeah, book really is. is incredible. It's very triggering if you, you know, haven't dealt with your own traumas. Every yeah. actor in this, I don't complain about shit. That word up. After what the fuck she's her been through. Her childhood was wow. What? Wow. You have to read that shit. It's fantastic anyway so yeah so you know boom and there was a place called spices in the movie where they're doing the poetry that's where bernie mac would do shows where they did poetry It's a black owned place in downtown chicago bernie mac would do shows down there and that's what love jones was based on the poetry like little club then he was at the cotton club and i said where can i go to do black you know go see bernie mac i was like who the fuck is that South side of Chicago. So I go over there and I see this dude, dark skinned dude with glasses with a towel. He's like, I'm sick and tired of being a motherfucker, sick and tired. You know, motherfucker, come up to you and shit, you know, want to show you love and shit. Motherfucker, I'm tired of these motherfuckers, you know. I was like, whoa, fuck, murdering, of course. Mm -hmm. And when you walk into the cotton club, it's the band is right there and they see you right away as soon as you walk in. It's a small club, they see you right away. So I'm walking in there. I see Bishop Don Juan. Bishop yeah, Don Juan wow. is from Chicago. It's Chicago. Bishop yeah. Don Juan knew me when I started. Wow. Man, that motherfucker saw me when we were, when we were shooting Soul Plane. Me and Snoop Dogg in the, in, this, in the cockpit. Bishop Don Juan comes in. And he goes, hey, baby, what's going on, man? <laughs> I go, what's up, man? Bishop, what's up? He goes, man, I'm proud of you, baby. I'm proud of you, man. You made Chicago look good. He's a real pimp. He's a real pimp, not no fucking joke. Real. He goes, man, I'm proud of you, man. I love seeing my Chicago brother. And Snoop is like this. How you know this motherfucker? I said, I'm from Chicago. Nigga, you from Chicago? <laughs> yeah. And Snoop goes, that's why I fuck with you, dog. I love motherfuckers from Chicago. I didn't know you was from. I said, I've known Bishop Don Juan before you, bro. Wow. I knew him before you were hanging out with him. He was Bishop Magic Don Juan. What happened to the magic? He got, well, he got all churchy. He got, you know, he Bishop. Did? Yeah, he was like a pastor. I did not know that. He was a pastor and he used to have a gold church, like a little church, gold chain. But Bernie, Bernie. But Bernie, Cause, Mac, cause I, yeah. 
Bernie was like, I mean, to me, he's one of the best ever. And I think he did quite possibly like one of those most amazing sets of stand up comedy ever. Yeah. Oh, for the Kings of Comedy? It was, well, oh, the Def Kings comedy of Comedy jam. was like transformative for me, but like, yeah. I'm talking, it was the Deaf Comedy Jam. I ain't scared, I, you I ain't scared of you. And you know what but, happened, right? But, but, I, yeah. I want you to tell the story yes. because you know yes. better, but yes. that five minutes. Yeah. And I'm not talking to you like, like break down, like, oh, look, the setup and premise no, and no, joke, no, no. whatever. I'm talking about five minutes yes. of setting a tone, yes. getting everybody in yep. the room, yep. absolutely dying laughing yes. and maintaining energy and like yes. literally falling in love with a person. Yeah. And then you leave. I think it was one of the greatest sets yep. in the history of stand-up No comedy. doubt. It, it, that, no, and, but and, tell uh, everybody what happened what, before. Uh, yeah. Not a lot of people know and there were story. some people that were there. This guy named Cool Bubba Ice was there, and some other cats cool were there. Cool Bubba Ice with the hat. Yeah, yeah Cool Bubba was there. And he's a great <laughs> impersonator, too. Really great impersonator. Yeah. Um, and uh, shit, because Bernie bombed. Bernie, this right? was his second time on Def Jam. Yeah. Because he had done his first one. I remember he's told us. Yeah. He goes, I want to tell everybody I'm doing Def Comedy Jam. Everyone's like, all right. And he's like, so I ended up hosting for him. That's right. When he was in the summertime. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the comics were pissed at me. And Bernie asked me, he go, I was like, you want me to? I was like, no, oh, like, because you're original and shit. And you know, you're trying to be like Bernie, man. Motherfuckers be stealing my shit, you know. I want you. So, boom, at that time, Bernie went on first time at Def Jam. Did pretty good. Second time, he went on tour. He was on tour. So, I was hosting his comedy. He was on tour. So, that's when he had his, you know, you know, he, you saw his colored, you remember his yeah, shirt? Yeah. That's Barbara Bates. Barbara Bates was this black, this, um, clothing designer. He was wearing Barbara Bates' shit, right? And then the painted jeans, and that was the style of Barbara Bates. And then, you know, he there was a bunch of people bombing before him. They were bombing like a motherfucker. Mm. And so Bernie was like, what the fuck? Everybody was getting eaten alive. And so Bernie comes out and goes, I ain't afraid of you motherfuckers. I'm gonna tell you to you straight. You know? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it, it went, he set yeah. A tone. He set a tone. And then he goes, kick it! Boom. Tackle. But that boom, wasn't boom. organized before with, who was the DJ? Um, Kid Capri. Yeah, Capri. I don't think that was organized before. Yeah. He yeah. just, it, so he did he just, it and then it, it worked boom. and he kept doing it. Boom. I'm going to say it straight. Well, uh, yeah. you know, I, I pull out my dick this whole room. Get I'm afraid. He's like, he's like, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm big booted. I'm big booted. <laughs> I pull out my dick the whole room. Get the, uh, <laughs> kick it. But it was, the, and it was music. Black. It was like, it, you're watching fucking jazz, yeah. comedy. It was, it was, it was everything it all was in one. It was Coltrane, Duke Ellington, getting them all. It was, Bro, it, was, it, was, it, was Bebop, it was, it was funk. It was, and in that quick moment, he murdered that shit. Chicago. Then Adele Givens, Chicago. Yeah. The, when Adele said, yeah. me give you a blowjob, that's like, with my big lips, that's like giving a whale a Tic Tac, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I remember I think that. he was talking to, she was talking to Cool Bubba Ice yeah, yeah. in the audience. And ah, Chicago on the map again. Wow. Yeah. But Chicago, we were, it was Chicago was like. But the Bernie, oh, Bernie, go, and, go, But go. Bernie literally, when I got to New York City doing um, fuck. Um, Peppermint Lounge. Oh, in Jersey or whatever it was. I did it ten times. Yeah, this East was a orange. Cool. Whose room was this? No, that was this uh, was Bill Bellamy. Bellamy's room. This is this is I'm like a talking. crazy room. <laughs> yeah, 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 Anthony Mason from the Knicks. <laughs> yeah, this who's is huge. Naughty God, by yeah, nature. Yeah. Yeah. Gigantic. He's a Frankenstein. No, he, he, yeah, he looks like he's, he's in three D. He's, like, he's yeah, Frankenstein. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. he's Frankenstein. He is in three D. <laughs> and, and, and remember when I was talking about motherfuckers? Jersey was like. They was in like a rough room. motherfuckers in the room. Yeah, yeah. You got, they gave you a date, Tina Graham. Shout out Tina Graham. And Bob they Bob gave, Summers. They gave Summers. you, they, Summers, they gave yeah. you a, a, a date and you would think about that date for months. You go, <laughs> it's January. Hey, you're going to be at the Peppermint Lounge in April. You're like, oh. you're thinking, yo, when's your date? My date's April, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. When's your date? And it was like, and there, it was a ex strip club. And so there's mirrors everywhere on the stage. So when you get up, it looks like there's more black people. <laughs> yeah, 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 you see the reflection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the reflection of these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. like, hurry up! Yeah, yeah. Hurry up with your sister! It was, and you got to get up there and Bill Bellamy, and you know, everything Bill's doing, kill it. Kill yeah, it. yeah. Bill's yeah. like MTV, suit on, boom, out, yeah, girl. Yeah. And here you come, you're in a fucking room. And the DJ's there going, y'all better not fuck up. 
<laughs> Boy, boo your ass to death. Thank you for the inspiration, uh, yeah. asshole. <laughs> and then you, I went up and, oh, I for bam. And he goes, yo, this next guy from Chicago, everyone's like, you mad because of Bernie. Bernie g- gave me an opening because they respected Chicago. If everybody was respected Chicago, you got to remember too, one of my first, one of my jokes that killed, this is my first time at the, the, the um, Peppermint Lounge, I did the Crucial Conflict joke. You know, Crucial Conflict? Hey, hey, they started hey, hey, all that humming, all that absolutely. Southern rap because Chicago's a Southern city. Mm-hmm. Black people are from Mississippi, Alabama, Kentucky. That's right. So that hay in the middle of the barn, man, I murdered, dude. I said, y'all know Crucial Conflict? What the fuck? The f-? Oh, I was just doing, killed Chicago group. It was just, Bernie set that tone though wow. for mm. to keep to get me through. They're like, give it up, my man, Chicago, Bernie man. <sighs> what was what sweating? Was, like, what was God the- damn? Then I got booed one time. Booed my ninth time. Cause I was getting comfortable. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers knew me. I was hoo hoo about that hell tonight. Then one time this dude was like, yo, man, you corny, man. Corny, man. Sound. Man, you sound proper and shit. I go, that's because I can you read. Yeah, and I go, that's because I can read, motherfucker. I can read. You know? <laughs> and I was like, and I'm getting on this dude. Bop, bop, bop. Then they were like, yo, that's my cousin. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Wait, Family wait, 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 you related to him? Yeah, 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 shit. yeah. Bop, bop. It started growing. Boo. They knew this dude. I was getting him, though. Boo, man, fuck that. And now the booing, I didn't even trip on it. And so when they start booing, I started acting like um, I started acting like Scarface when he was getting shot. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, "This, yeah. ah, it's okay. <laughs> Fuck you. I can take it. That's you want to fucking play games?" <laughs> and they start laughing again. <laughs> then they booed me again. <laughs> they rebooed wow. me. They were like, ah. "They were like, ha, ah, no, boo!" <laughs> they <laughs> rebooed me. I was like, "Fuck y'all!" And I got off. But the that people who don't know and don't really understand the impact of Bernie Mac, what was that loss like? It was like if you it was to, stunning. You to say it was hip hop terms. It was stunning, like a stunner. Like, yeah. fuck, what? Like, like pop, big. Uh, it was. It was just like he was just. He was really coming in. Like he was about to be that dude. Like, with with the Ocean's Eleven, and we didn't get to see him do specials, man. Yeah, we didn't really get to see him do oh, comedy shit. specials. Damn, I we didn't get to see him do comedy specials. Yeah, but there's it, part of me. Oh shit, there's part of me that. <sighs> I don't know what he would have done as a special, but like the type of comedy he did with Kings of Comedy, it was so fucking pure, authentic, and like yeah. real. I don't know after doing like Ocean's Eleven if he could do those types of jokes again. I, I, I'm not sure, but I would have liked to see. I him. would love to see it, but I'm like, but yeah, and then oh, he, he had his own show. Then he had his version, own show. Like, right? Then he had the Bernie Mac show. Yeah. That all you no, you got a good point because that set from Kings of Comedy, I remember watching that in a movie theater. It you, came it out was in amazing. theaters. It was unreal. And I saw, I the lineup was perfect. Everything was perfect. Yeah. But wh- I, was, I didn't know who he was. And I knew who the other guys were. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this guy's closing. Who is this guy? Yeah. And then I laughed like I've never laughed yeah. at anything no, on video period. ever yeah. in my yeah. life. It was, yeah. And I was like, because also at that time, I'm so young. I think that he's just making all this stuff up in a moment. <laughs> right. I don't even know about bits yet. Right. You know, my, my introduction to comedy right. is, is like, I'm watching, I'm watching guys riff, I'm thinking, right? right? So yeah, because yeah. it was so conversational, yeah. I don't know if yeah. these are bits, he's going back and forth, yeah. it's in and out, it's yeah. audience, it's something, he's yeah. telling stories. So I'm thinking during this, I'm like, man, how the fuck am I going to be that funny? This is going to take a lot of work <laughs> to get this goddamn <laughs> yeah. funny. Bro, him telling the stories about the family, man. And his That's what uh, Bernie Mac show was, though. And, and then the they friend, made the show. And out the thing of it. is, Bernie had been doing comedy since '79. Yeah, it was 30 years in a Came game. Out with like, like Arsenio. Yeah. And the thing is, my friend, who I want to bring up, Evan Lionel, he's a comic out of, uh, he started, he literally was the first guy to pay us in Chicago. He started the urban comedy, Evan Lionel. He's been in, New, um, in LA for like 20 something years. He's my big brother. He literally got Bernie Mac out of the life of crime. He saved wow. Bernie Mac's life. Wow. Saved his life. They went to the same high school, Chicago Vocational High School. And Bernie was going to murder somebody because Bernie was pissed. And he said, don't you go do that shit. You need to bring your ass and do this comedy thing. I'm, I'm doing com-. He saved Bernie. Evan Lionel wow. is the reason why Bernie is where he, where he got to. Wow. And he, 
He he let Bernie stay at his place when Bernie didn't have a lot of money. I dude, dude I've seen footage of Bernie doing open mic <laughs> when Bernie didn't have any dough. He has or foot, killing. He's funny as fuck, and he has but he has footage of it. He has footage of all of us when we first started. Wow. This guy's name is Evan Lionel. People should need to know this guy's name. Bernie used to sit with us at three in the morning lecturing us. Who gonna carry the torch? Huh? Who gonna tear the motherfucking torch? Huh? Who gonna carry this motherfucker? You know all these motherfuckers don't understand how long take a motherfucking do comedy and shit? Motherfucker right. come up one against that ovation and shit. Yeah. <laughs> we would walk. This is two, three in the morning. Me, Bernie, Evan, and his wife. Wow. Just listen to Bernie lecture him. Me, wow. I got lectured by Bernie. Like, I got the best fucking advice. I got Seinfeld, Bernie, and you can say what you want, Cosby. I got advice from all three of these motherfuckers. George Wallace, too. Wow. George Wallace be like, Godfrey, Godfrey, I really, you were really funny. <laughs> we had the same birthday, me and George Wallace. Wow. I, we, I got advice from some of the greatest motherfuckers. Seinfeld sat me down two hours, watched my set, and gave me advice. What? Cosby <laughs> gave me advice. When I worked for him, I worked for Cosby. I warmed up for Cosby. And he's just like, you got to write, put it on the paper. You got the writing is important. You got to write it on the paper. I remember the shit. <laughs> you wow. see, you, when you put, oh, yeah, it was Cosby. And he had the cigar. And see, and the thing in the writing, his hand was like, the writing <laughs> on the paper. Look at the word show business. What's the biggest word? Business. business. Oh, he did that. Yeah. that <laughs> shit. I was like, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm like, yeah. Let's, but, pay, let's pay some bills, come back, do some yeah. church announcements, and uh, let's talk we some out. current events while we still got Godfrey here. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, I got to make sure you're getting your nutrients, make sure you're getting it in the right time, and make sure that you don't have to waste any of your time nice. cooking, preparing meals, going to the grocery store to get all that stuff. You are busy. You got things to do, okay? You got to find a wife. You got to find a husband, man. Maybe you got to find a side chick. Maybe you got to take care of your kids, finally. Freshly is going to make all that happen. Freshly has got your back. These are delicious, nutrient-packed meals delivered right to your door, easy to put together because they're already prepared. I'm telling you, Freshly is the truth. It's food that's fast. It doesn't have to be fast food. They offer quality meals without all the hard work, okay? They are designed by nutritionists to get you everything that you need. I'm telling you, they're absolutely amazing. That steak peppercorn is delicious. The masterful mac and cheese, I don't eat bread, but I've tried that and I'm not considering it bread. They got these new uh, plant-based meals that are amazing as well. You could skip the line at the grocery store and skip dirty dishes. Your meals arrive cooked and fresh every week. New meals are added weekly, so you're never stuck eating the same thing over and over again. Stop stressing about dinner. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $125 off your first five orders when you go to Freshly.com slash idiots. That's $125 off at Freshly.com slash idiots. Make sure you do that. Yes, and today, and today's episode of Brilliant Idiots is also brought to you by Mosin Cores. Do you ever feel like you're always on? Work, friends, family, a million pressing social issues and an expectation to be on 24-7. Sometimes you just need a moment to turn off and hit reset. That's when you reach for a cold cause light. It's made to chill, man. It's 90-something degrees right now in the shade here in New York City. So I know it's hot in other places. And I know you want to taste something cold in your mouth, don't you? You want to <laughs> hold something long with some girth and whiff in your hand. And you want to put it to your lips and take a sip. And you want to go, ah. Well, there's only one beer that's literally made to do that, literally made to chill, and that's Coors Light, okay? The mountains on the bottles and cans even turn blue when your beer is cold. That way you always know when it's time to chill. When you need to hit reset, just open the Coors Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Coors Light is cold layered, cold filtered, and cold packaged. It's literally made to chill, which is crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies. Perfect for a moment to unwind, okay? When I need to take a second for myself, I reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash idiots. Celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Now let's get back to the show. The announcements, the announcements. are a very important part of what we do in church. All right, church announcements. Uh, this is the part of the show where we talk about anything we got going on. Godfrey, what you got? Oh, oh, well, I got coming up Orlando Improv. Uh, June 3rd through the 5th 
And then I have, where am I else? Where else am I going? Oh, Houston Improv too. Houston Improv is uh, June like 17th through the 19th. Then I got uh, some other place. I can't remember. Um, and I have my podcast, which I hope you guys do someday. Absolutely. And Godfrey with sure. Trust on the Gas Digital Network. Where uh, Faison has done it. T.I. did it. <laughs> T.I. A lot of people's done it. Um, and Godfrey with Trust on the Gas Digital Network, Tuesdays and Fridays at 9.30 p.m. Watch me on the new season of Wildin' Out, uh, June 21st, season 18. And a Michael Chase show, I guess yeah. I'm in that one sketch with you guys. It was like, it was a bunch of us. And uh, yeah, man, and just come, you know, just follow me on Instagram, Comedian Godfrey, and follow the Godfrey podcast, you know what I mean, on Instagram. So yeah. What you got, Shotzi? I got a little announcement. I think maybe next week we'll be ready to talk next about week, it. Next week? Next week? I think so. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. We got an announcement? Oh, okay. Yeah, something. Orlando something. Improv. Did I say Orlando Improv? Yeah. You did. Okay, yeah. made sure I said Orlando Improv. Cut. Thank you. Yeah, right. man, that's it. Let's do some shit you won't care about next week. Um, Let's get it. Monique called out bias against black women uh, in D.L. Hughley dispute. Bro, did you see her running across the stage? That's one of the funniest things baby, I've ever seen in my life. Let me tell you, baby. Life. Baby. Bro, Monique the run that she deal. did, bro, my is lungs. one of the funniest things I ever seen. She looked like Luigi, bro. Look at this run. <laughs> Look how high her legs go when she's right. Dude, it's amazing. Whatever she said, she's right or wrong. I Listen, don't know. Baby. But that run is. <laughs> baby. Oh, my God. My you, you don't got the video? She alleged that uh, DL pushed her out of being the headliner. But DL showed a contract, didn't he? He showed, he a, showed the uh, contract. What's it called? The contract. It wasn't a contract. It was a thing before the contract. The, but it's still binding. The offer. Yeah, the offer. But he, yeah. agreement. He, yeah, he showed yeah, yeah. them. He didn't want to have to do that. She showed one too, though. That said what? What did it say? Same. It, it was like the same no? language, but I think it came from her company. But I, what, I think this is a promoter problem. Hold I don't on. think this there is an go. issue that either one of them have with each other. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, she just read the other side no, of the state. Okay, Monique okay, okay, is okay, okay, hilarious. Okay. Yeah. I saw Corey Holcomb do that one night. Monique that shit was funny so as hell. Funny. Yeah. Monique is hilarious. Monique is so funny. What is is this a real thing? Do comedians care about who headlines? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, listen, they're both great headliners. They're both great comedians. Like I said, it's a it's it's a promoter thing. I'm not gonna sit up there and misspeak and go, no, no. I don't know who's right, who's wrong. I think it sucks that they're both fighting. Yeah, it yeah, fucking yeah. stinks. I think it sucks. They're both great. Some of these promoters do stupid shit like that. Yeah. They'll like separate that have Monique and friends have DL and friends stop yeah. stacking stop doing that shit that's a big show you got that's, DL and Monique that's a big that's show that's a huge show I think Ida Rodriguez was on there Ida, yeah. Ida told me like they're just trying to get the guys and the girls out but I think it was I think I think it was it was DL's thing I think I don't know but if they're both showing contracts hey man I ain't got nothing to do with that but I hate that they're fucking fighting because it's like if it's not my you know, personal show, yeah. I don't care where I am. Yeah, it's like, you're Monique, man. Don't fucking matter. You're yeah. Monique. Who cares? They're Monique, like, Monique. He headline your shows. And if it's a show with a bunch of other comics on it, first of all, that's the thing a lot of people don't realize. Like, comics, if it's a comic uh, show with a bunch of comics on it, comics ain't fighting for that headline spot. Hell no. That, that's the I'll one you don't first. want. Exactly. Get the fuck exactly. Out of here. When, yeah, yeah. If the show is and everybody's gonna, a headliner, shit, I want to go first. Because everybody's gonna go long. It's gonna be three hours it's, in by the time gonna, you get on yeah, stage. It's, yeah. Everybody's gonna be talking about the similar shit. Yep. So th people fight to not do that. And if you do do that, you gotta pay more. I've so been, I know I've comics been, yeah. who are like, nah, I'm not headlining yeah. unless you pay me extra because yeah. I gotta deal with this. I've shit been here. I've been on on offered shows like that, and I go and I'll look who's on. I go, I'm good. That energy, I'm, I want energy wise. I'm not yeah. fucking with that. Oh, so you'll look at a lineup and be oh, like, be like nah, nah, that was the first time I ever saw something I, like that. If I, if, there's, if I, and I don't have a beef with anybody, but I know one fuckers that don't feel a certain way about me. I'm not going. I don't care about how much money it is. Mm. I'm saving my energy. I want to be around people that I get along with. That's important to me. I that makes sense because in DL's contract, it said he has approval of the lineup or something like that. Yeah, I, I guess. And then what did she? What is hers? contract show i don't i didn't i didn't, I didn't look so, so i don't really it just seemed like both of them had the similar contract so i think that's on the promotion. i don't you don't see, the thing is you don't see the white comics argue even if they don't like you don't see them doing that it's us all the time yeah it's like it's always it's uh, why why has it be got to be public i just thought that was like monique shitting on dl before he goes up and then dl came back 
I heard DL didn't perform that night, though. Nah, I thought he, he went on stage. Didn't he, he go said, on uh, that I night? Think that's he said, uh, okay. You yeah. need Jesus. No, just get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said something about, like, you're beefing with this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. Maybe it's you. And, uh, and listen, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm cool with both of them, so I don't want to say the wrong shit because I wasn't there. Yeah. But I just don't like that they're both fighting. I hope that they resolve this shit. Because I, I don't want to see any of us fighting that shit. I'm tired of that shit. That is, Keep he, it to yourself. Fuck yeah. It. yeah, he said. Keep it off the thing, off the public. Talk shit. to one another about That's it. That's what I like, say. Talk to one because they're both great. They're both my friends. Okay. I remember Monique called me. I got the call from Monique. Because, you know, I did Fat Girls with her. I did Soul Plane with her. Mm -hmm. And Monique called me because I, I was on, when I used to do Vlad, I said something about Monique's situation with her husband. I made a mention. And Monique calls me. I go, hey. He goes, hey, baby. Hey, love. You know, all that night. I said, what's up, Monique? What up? Yo, what's up? She goes, oh, I'm I'm beautiful. And I'm, it's so nice to hear from you. are doing so well. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, something's going to happen to me. I go, what's up, Monique? I have a problem, baby. I said, oh, oh, <laughs> what is it? What I do? Well, you, I was watching Black, and you're a bad motherfucker on there. I said, thanks. Uh, she goes, but you said something I didn't like. <laughs> I said, what the fuck could I possibly say bad about you? Well, it wasn't me. It was my husband. I said, okay, what did I say? Because I don't remember. It's mid one. Mm -hmm. He goes, you said something about, you know, I think Monique's decisions are being blah, blah, because of the husband. And I said, well, Monique, I think I remember, but I didn't say it out of spite of him. I don't know him. I was talking about as a friend of yours. I go, maybe it's the husband messing up her shit because I know Monique and Monique's been doing this a long time. Maybe he just came in and he's making it wrong. I was protecting you. She goes, I totally understand that. But I felt like you disrespected her. I said, let me talk to him. Let me talk to the guy. Mm -hmm. And I talked. We had a great conversation. He goes, man, I really respect you. And I know you, I got, I understood what ex exactly what you were doing. You don't know me. Yeah, You're just yeah, looking. Yeah. I said, that's how I did it. But as a man, I apologize that if you took it that way, I totally did. And we, we questioned. He said, I'm apologizing to another black dude. Like, yeah. It don't have to be like, man, fuck you. At fuck. least she called you. Monica hit the oh, nuclear button she, quick. She Bang. won't go like this. Uh, Godfrey uh, Cleofish <laughs> Jr. <laughs> and I'm like, how'd you know my middle name? But yeah, she, I, we squashed it. And then I made a video actually on my Instagram talking about that. My bad. And she goes, that's why I fuck with you. That's yeah. why I fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, man. Now but it, I like it. We settled it. It was like, boom. It, it doesn't have to be. It was interesting, right? Because go back go back to that, Taylor, because DL was like, you know, first it was like Oprah. He said Oprah was oh, the yeah. problem. Tyler Tyler was the problem. Lee Daniels was the problem. Charlamagne was the problem. Like, don't put me in it. Yeah. I, like, my, 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 mine was a little different. I can totally see Steve yeah. Harvey was the problem. I can see why Monique was upset because I was talking about her money. You know what I she mean? She had some uh, legitimate uh, gripes. Yeah, I was, very like, you legitimate know, we, we were talking about the Netflix deal and she that's something legit. that we do as people, right? We'll talk about athletes' no, contracts. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about she how much yeah. money a person got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's certain situations where that probably could have impacted her money. You yeah, know what I mean? No they, doubt. There could have been Netflix execs at Netflix like, oh, well, well, you heard, heard what Charlamagne said. Charlamagne yeah. said, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. I can see why she would yeah, be no, upset. no doubt. No doubt. You know? She, she was putting out fires that it was, she had the legitimate gripes. You know? She's just bold with it. She was just not afraid. She kind of stood on her own. She and looks not, great, and, and by the way, way. And it was none of my business. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Whatever right. Netflix was going right. to pay her right. that's or whatever her she business. was trying to yeah, get, exactly. that's on her. That's her. I think sometimes we do have to be cognizant of that when we're having conversations about yeah, no doubt. what other people yeah. are doing because our voices do carry. And it, like it, it helps nobody's business. That's right. That's right. It does. So Monique was... Monique and ZL, I hope right. they settle it. They're both fucking fantastic. Period. I agree. So, and we need them. Um, Bill Maher, another comic. Bill Maher uh, got into some trouble he because do? he said that, um, and it was it was actually a really good bit if you see it, but uh -huh. I wouldn't even call it a bit. It was just his, I think it was his, uh, what's his, the real time. Uh -huh. But he basically said that uh, being transgender uh -huh. is trendy now. So he said, that's why you see the spike in people identifying <laughs> as transgender going up. Because it's trendy. Trendy trends. That's what he said. And so, of course, the LGBT community is, uh, is highly on, upset. They always get mad See, at everything. Real time Bill Maher claims well, that he's, he's going to be sparked by the He's talking the about, but, but, Bill, but Caitlyn Jenner said the same thing. Exactly. She's like this. They're not really doing it. It's, it's doing it out of like, it's, it's, it's like they're doing it because, oh, it's cool to do it. Some people do gay stuff and they, they're like, I wasn't really gay. I was just doing it. It was just a, a, a phase. So that's all he was saying. He's not, 
You, you can't get mad at every fucking thing all the time. Go be trans. Yeah, I mean, Stop there's, there's a lot of, com- all the there's a lot of common sense in what he said. He was just of like, course. when you're young, you think you're all kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. So he was like, should we be making permanent hmm. decisions based off what could be? We should wait. Family? You should wait. You shouldn't be throwing this on people when, especially these young kids, let, th- let them figure it out later. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with being whatever you want to be, but you can't get mad at every fucking turn. Enough already. It's like LGBT. It's oh, okay, here they here come the alphabets. Yeah, you know, it's like they're always mad at shit. Like, damn. And I, have, and, and I don't know if trendy is the right word, but I do know that if you put it on the menu, and I'm a child, I'm going for what's the u- most unique thing on the menu. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. like, I, why would I just want to be a man, a woman when there's something else? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? If it's on the menu, I might choose the highlighted meal on the menu. Might. Pause. Well, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. what yeah. the food and food in the whole sex joint is a little different, what? man. Do I want a dick or a coochie? Uh, or do I want both? Or Yo, let me get Avengers. down with a soda on if, the side. If Avengers was on the menu, what would you identify as? If what? Avengers was on the menu, what would you identify as? <laughs> no, but I get, I get you trying to make an analogy, but I was like, wait a minute. I was with you halfway, my friend. And then we went off onto a tangent. Yeah. Spock, Spock, you have to come back. I think, back I, think it works the, I think it works a little bit the opposite way as well. Like, I think there's probably a lot of trans people that identify as gay because they didn't know trans was on the menu. And I think now there's a lot of those people going, oh, shit, I'm, I was actually trans this whole time. It's just gay was the closest thing. Yeah. Well, as and, far as the community, that it's under the umbrella. Because if you're going LGBT, isn't that uh, this the gay community? LGBTQAI or whatever. I think what? it's the queer Plus, community. Gay, I think, is just if you're a dude and you fuck dudes. I don't know. Oh, I think it's, un- I think it's under yeah. all of that. No? What, what is? LGBT, isn't that the gay community? LGBTQ yeah, in the gay yeah, yeah. community? That's right. No, no, it's not the gay community. Oh, what uh, is it then? It's, it's the LGBTQ plus community. That's, that's the gay community. No, well, no, 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 no. It's, it's gay and. Yeah, because some people oh, are yeah, gay, yeah, they're yeah. bi. Some people are gay, they're Well, I think plus. if you mess with the same sex, you're gay. Do we know what those letters mean? Yeah, but what if... if you're? <laughs> do we know what the letters mean? I just... We I'm not going to do it. We got, we good. We, I mean, we, I'm heterosexual, so yeah, I don't know. If, Let if me get you, out of there. If you, I'm an H. If my you, bad. If you mess with the same sex. <laughs> I'm H. All right. I got my own letters. I mean, I'm by myself. I'm we H. Do know. We are H. I'm, yeah, we're I'm H. H's, You're H, too. I'm an H. H's. We're all, we're, we're the huzz. We're the huzz. We're the huzz. Hey, we the huzz. Heterosexual. So, I'm I'm H. I'm H. I ain't the cis. No, I'm heterosexual. Period. Wait, the H, a, homosexual I'm H. starts with H too, though. I'm I'm het. Het. There you go. I'm, I'm het. het. I'm het. het. I'm het. So I'm het. 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 Man. Uh, uh, het. Uh. Oh man. <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah. You know <sighs> what I mean. I don't want to say the wrong thing because then they'll get mad at this. Yeah. So Thank you're you. being folk. No, but it's, I'm just trying. There's so many terms. I'm like, sorry. I'm not getting the yeah. I'd rather just actually respect you as a human being than get your terms wrong and you start crying. I'd yeah. rather go, hey man. If you're Throw being bullied, I'm going to protect you. Yeah. You're my friend. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But if you get mad at my terms, you're, you're I think you're splitting hairs. Yeah. I try. There's, there's a binary learning binary. curve for the new Sorry. stuff. Fuck. I didn't what? know. There's I'm a learning like, curve. They don't give us one. You're well, that's hum- the thing. That's what I'm trying to you're say. You're a human. No. You're a human being. I don't, I don't expect fuck all that. And my thing is stop being, um, stop um, um, these men, stop putting titties on and, and competing against women. You're cheating. Have a transgender league. This is like, you should have shitty male athlete league. Shitty male athletes that can't compete with regular athletes. Right. They just put titties on them. Then they go, I'm going to compete against women. And you're putting women in comas and MMA fights. Yeah. That's because your PSIs are that of a band. Yeah. You're, how are you 554th ranked and then you're number one when you start racing with women? Because you got man strength. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Right. You're sitting there like, <laughs> fucking smoking women as soon as you jump in the water. <laughs> Women are like, what the fuck? They're like, at least slow down and almost beat them. Oh, just yeah, made yeah. it. Oh, like dash on the Incredibles. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not too fast. Not too fast. Don't just, win, dash. Yeah, just slow down, just like this, and she just wins. Uh, how much time got for guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh shit, right. I gotta wrap up soon. Okay, so. give us some asking idiots. We'll get the fuck out of here. Almost up. I mean to play footsie with you. Man, watch that. Give us some. Give us some. <laughs> watch that. Pause. Oh, let's, let's I didn't like the way the tips hit. I didn't so like the way the tips of did. our shoes hit. It bothered okay. me. <laughs> like, I didn't like how soft that was. 
Well, like, no <laughs> tenderness here, buddy. That might, hey, that protects you, though. <laughs> no, fuck all that. That protects you after that ranch you did? Like, no, nah, hell no. I'll reach her in. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay some bills, man. They come back and do that. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll take a break for a second because I got to make sure you're getting your website up, ready to go. You have a business, you need a website for it, plain and simple. And the best company to build that website, design that website is Squarespace because you could do it. All your aesthetic, all your ideas put out there on the internet to reflect and represent you, okay? Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with beautiful website, uh, engage your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, even your time. I'm telling you, you need a website if you have a business, even if you have a personal brand. Squarespace makes it easy to create, uh, monetize your content as well, okay? They have the expertise to make it look beautiful for your brand and allow you to monetize your brand perfectly. They have member areas. You can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly, okay? The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any bin box. With Squarespace email campaigns, collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every single send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where uh, your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are the most effective. You can improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. So. When you head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot, you're going to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with the offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. All right, we okay. back. Time for some asking idiots. Ooh. How's it going? Oh, this is good. I like this one. Let's go back what? to that one. Podcast Poppy right there, right there. First one, What's Taylor. Up, up, up. Says, up, up, up. Uh, yeah. Charlotte. If you were a Republican politician for one year, what changes would you make about the party? Schultz, if you were a Democratic politician for a year, what changes would you make about the party? You go. What changes would I make about the party? Um, I would, my approach would be very bulwarkish mm. because I really like what I saw. Uh, oh, I can't remember the sister name right now. She's from Portsmouth, Virginia. She's the congresswoman. I think, I think it's Congresswoman Burke, if I'm not mistaken, apologies for not remembering her name, but she just spoke truth to power. Did y'all see that video? Happening, Hold on. and I hope you make your decision when when November comes. Stop I'm it, pissed as a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm a fair. I'm mad as a motherfucker. Hold on, counsel. I am counsel because woman. I know what's been going on. I know somebody came to my office and asked me to deal with this stuff because they've been asked to be paid Let's take the recess. dollars I'm, to I'm get their vote on some right stuff. Now. I'm, I'm sick of it. She just spoke truth to power about what's going on and how people are trying to buy votes and everything else. And I'm wow. like, if you're supposed Damn. to be a party of the people, she went there. you should sound like the, the people. people. Like yeah. Bullworth. I love Bullworth. It's one of my favorite movies. You should go watch it. It stars Warren yeah. Beatty, Holland Berry. Warren Beatty, Don Holland Berry. But it's just like, yo, he was just speaking truth to power. Like, Which what is you, rare. But is especially in politics. But are we? Is it really a party for the people? That's why you got to see George Carlin's new, the new, the new. Uh, oh, the doc 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 oh, I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. Oh, fucking yeah! I'm a big Carlin. I he goes. That's what I they're supposed to be for the. He's people. like, this country is a big club, and you ain't and in you it. You ain't yeah, in it. No, that's that's facts. That's real. But is it really yeah. for the people? It's supposed to be. That's what they sell. It. Kind of for the. Yeah. Well, it's not. Know. We know they're not. Right, right, right. But I get not. what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But to speak truth to power, that's a it's bullshit. There's some politicians that step out and go. This is bullshit. You know, yeah. some do. But you know, that's why the Republican Party is so attractive to a lot of people now. Because Donald Trump gave the illusion that he was speaking truth to power. And mm, now you got all these conservative Fake policies. news. Everything is everything a fake is news. Fake I don't care. News. Fake news everywhere. This is a very good, that's very right. good podcast. That's right. Brilliant idiots. I'm a brilliant idiot. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. <laughs> no, I'm not an idiot. I'm brilliant. You guys are the idiots. But fake he, uh, news. Fake but, news. But it's not like all, like you said. <laughs> Everything's fake, Charlemagne. Your name is not really Charlemagne. That is very true. <laughs> fake news. 
<laughs> piece of shit. This is a piece of shit podcast. You should be very embarrassed. <laughs> but you see all of these yeah, conservatives. Yeah, I get it. Who are just, even if it's disgusting, even if it's racist, even if yeah. it's sexist, yeah. even if it's homophobic, yeah. they're speaking their truth. Yeah. They, they keep it 100. They keep it 100. And sadly, you're going to find a tribe of tens of millions of people in America <laughs> like speaking their truth. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 What would you do? Change about the Democratic Party? Yeah. I don't know. Give him some courage. Yeah, maybe some more courage. Like, talk that shit. I guess I'd enjoy that. And it's some more humor. I think that's what's missing in the Democratic Party is, like, they're trying to make sure everybody's comfortable and there's nothing funny about comfort. Yeah. So it's just like, go up there, talk that shit, be funny, piss some people off. Yeah. Like, yeah, I would love that. Stop trying to appease everybody. It's annoying. And it looks phony. Yeah. yeah. You what you do, Oh, man. Uh, Republican, because black people were actually Republicans first. Then, Different but, ideologies then. Well, yeah. Back then. But I, I would try to, shit, the gun law shit, try. I would take gun shit. Like, you got to have a fucking head exam before you get a fucking gun. Yeah. I'm sorry. I wouldn't keep people from having guns, but you got to you gotta have a mental examination, man. You got to. And you can't be five years old with a fucking, you, maybe in, in the comfort of your own home, you teach. You can, right. I got that. But nah, you can't be walking around with that shit. That shit is crazy. You yeah. can have it if you're sane. You're qualified that, you know, that has to be more strict, I think. I think. Yeah, I don't understand why yeah. people can't be pro-gun, but also pro-gun control. Yeah. Like, just there's be, no reason yeah. for a civilian to have an AR-15. Like, that no, should be common sense. No, you shouldn't sense. have that. Yeah. But I believe in 2A. I like my guns, but I, yeah, I don't have right. an AR-15. Right. Yeah. You know, and you should know an AR-15 is a problem if the police pull up somewhere and they like, shit, his gun bigger than ours. We might have to wait a beat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not just yeah. rushing in there. We're not yeah. properly equipped to go in there and go, yeah. go to war with this guy right And now. reparations, god damn it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, mean, I would try to get that going. You know, the police thing. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, stop, uh, you know, killing us, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey! Yeah, uh, of that too. It's easy. Maybe try to take easy, care right? of that part. <laughs> Let's do yeah, it. The, the, the black thing. Yeah. <laughs> Try to take care of that. Yeah. I keep telling these cops, stop killing these black dudes. You're fucking up your uh, fantasy football choices. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? No, man? the same guys they cheer for, the ones they're fucking killing. Oh, you're right. Sorry. It's the same one. <laughs> the same young black man you cheer for, the ones that are scoring touchdowns for you and bringing championships to your city. <laughs> So kill some other races of people. They don't play ball. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do one more and get out of here. <laughs> Why are you killing the motherfuckers that are, you need? Don't get it. Come on. Give us one more, Taylor. Let's get a good one. Let's get a good one. You scroll past some good ones just now. I like those what-if scenarios. Scroll up again. <laughs> right there, right there. Ooh, I like this. Let's end on this one. This is Ego on Steroids. Wow. Would you rather snitch on your homies or cheat on your girl? So cheat on my girl. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> my girl can't. My girl can't did. beat. My girl can't beat did, my ass. But we don't know what they did. Nah, my girl really. can't beat my ass. What did the guys do? Nah, first? you know what the snitch means. <laughs> snitch is a fucking snitch. <laughs> well, what did my girl do for me to cheat on her? Uh, We're gonna do that. I'd rather cheat on my girl <laughs> you're, you're, than snitch on my homies. Because I can fight my wrong. girl. I can chat. I go, yo, what's good? What's good? I would son? rather snitch on my homies for cheating on their girl. Hell. Hell. <laughs> we got oh. wives, bro. Where is Bond? We got wives. Got, we got to keep these streets clean for us. I know folks. you got wives, but I, I'm just saying, I'm single. I don't want to get fucked up. Yeah. Oh, no, I wouldn't tell on you. I only tell on married people. <laughs> Damn. I would never tell on you. It's none of my business. <laughs> you're going to suffer <laughs> with me in this shit, bro. The second you're going to do, like, Col- you're gonna do like Kobe Bryant. But what about Shaq? What about yeah. Shaq? Yo, yo, yo. Let the dance go. Your man out here having fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your man out here having fun. Yo. <laughs> and you need to come collect his ass. He's some bullshit. Yo, he, gave mil- he gave a girl a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Yeah. What would you rather do, show? <laughs> snitch on your homies or cheat on your girl? I would never cheat on my wife, bro. Word. But if it was my girl, <laughs> if it's just a girl, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it's a girl, if it's just a girl, if it's just a girl, see? if it's a random see? girl, you got to cheat uh, on the girl, the see? random girl. See? It depends on the offense that the homies did. No, uh, those are the homies. They with you for life. We yeah. already married. Yeah. yeah I'm married to my homies. Might be doing Bros life. before hoes. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Bros before hoes. So if I'm a train boys in the hood, 
And yeah. I, I want to get out this car, but Doe don't let me out. But then Doe merch this guy. Oh, now I'm part of and that shit? And then they come to me the next oh, day. Wow. Ain't no Spelman, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you take yeah. your stuff from a movie, bro. I know, you're right. Stop. <laughs> you and your analogies. <laughs> if it's on the menu, you want spaghetti or you want pizza. <laughs> so it's the same thing as transgender. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I'd rather not. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not cheating Fuck on my girl question. either. I'll tell yes. you that much. I could deal with anything else other than that. <laughs> I can't deal with that, bro. I cannot. Well, I would love to it. be in that situation. Have married, have a nice, dope chick that you never tried to be. Everybody wants to get to that point. I don't have anything, so. You're on your way, Godfrey. Any psycho uh, chicks out there, any of you with mental problems, <laughs> I'm going to run into you. That's that's me, boy. Fucking run into psychopaths. Thank you for coming, I, God. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm gonna attract all of you. Don't even worry. All mentally unstable broads, how you doing? Don't worry, I'll meet you right after this fucking podcast. I thought she was cool. Nope. She said you punched her in the face and you never did it. Oh my god, man. <laughs> the king of that shit. I would be what? single forever. I'd run into oh, fucking cycle. Punching girl <laughs> in the no, face. No, no, you know, no. She I'm said like, I punched her in the face because she hit herself and said, he hit me. I'm like, no, I didn't. Is this based on a true story? Yes. <laughs> I said, no, I didn't. I never did it. That's why I've used, that's why I use analogies, Godfrey. I learned, <laughs> I learned my lesson about telling true stories. <laughs> you gotta use analogies. <laughs> you couldn't, you know, the good what's love got to do with it, reference the name. <laughs> it's called a hypothetical, hey, Godfrey. Hey, hey. That was, that was my material. <laughs> Your material. It's just entertainment. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank Damn you for listening. Right.